Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another day of PCM World Cup 2023. My name is the biggest of all dogs, with me Emma the 90th, our usual director. And we are here for Road Solo Tour, the third round. And today we will be following uh, Group C as our center court. So, uh, I believe we do have parkours also available to see. And uh, we'll get them uh, on our as soon as possible. And in the meantime, let me quickly check who do we have here for Group C tonight, because uh, as you can see in our uh, title, in title multicast as always, so we will be trying to check something of the other groups as possible. But given that it is tour, uh, we will uh, try to focus a bit more in the center court. So Group C, our, um, our center court has uh, Ibra from PCM UK, Jakob from PCM Eastern, Ghosty, Hush, Guillermo, Slomi, and uh, Mendes from uh, PCM Spain. Uh, 
these are groups up there with the reserves. Group A will have Leo Falangi, Huli Kuls, uh, Stein, Ben Young, Group Meister, Zapata, T2. Group B, Daniel Miko, Yubi, Shadow, Alder, Igan Nisimo Fabo, Pierre, and Aquarius. Group D has Basso, Papale, Miru, Colby, Joe Whiteley, Agap, and ASG, the, the still reigning Classic 12 champion. Never forgot. So, for the parkours, uh, for the parkours, uh, as you can see on our screen, uh, we start with, uh, uh, which ends uh, in a uh, climbing finish, uh, as you can see on your profile. Uh, we will also have an individual time trial afterwards, uh, albeit not that long. It still has 31 ki kilometers, I, I believe. Yeah, it is. And uh, two intermediate time checks uh, where we will be able to see who is... Uh, Doing the best possible times, we'll see uh, who will be closer, and at the finish line, we will know who has the major gains and losses. Then we go to the mountains where the uh, 164 kilometer stage from Char à la Chambre, and uh, we do see there two uh, HCs, uh, not a mountaintop finish, but what promises to be a very intense stage and a, uh, a very, uh, very epic and intense battle as well in that final climb where. Uh, Everyone will likely try to get a gap and try to take into, into the downhill to win the stage and maybe even some GC time. All right. And uh, then we move to uh, the actual uh, second mountaintop finish of this tour in a 200 plus kilometer stage, Ciel de Botechi de Alvaredo. And uh, quite a, a few. KOMs as well here in this stage for the uh, climbers jersey. I keep in mind that the secondary jerseys are uh, very important, especially when the uh, the GC of the tour, uh, and in this case of the group, is also very close. Uh, so it will be interesting to see the tactics. Uh, as for intermediate sprints, as you can also see, we have one in the first stage. We have another one on the third, uh, and we have one uh, right at the sort of beginning, first 60 kilometers of uh, stage 4. So, uh, it would not be out of the realm of possibilities to think that this uh, green jersey could be won uh, by the leader, but let's also see in breaks for the first uh, other two stages if uh, a puncher can also be uh, put on that fight or not. We'll see the tactics, we'll see everything, and uh, we will be moving to... Uh, our center court as soon as the lobby is launched. I still do not have an image, so I believe uh, we are getting that as well as we speak. There we go. Lobby is being pre prepared. So, uh, final reminder that in Group C we will have Ivra, Jakub, uh, Ghosty, Hush, Kilem, Slomi, and Mendes. So, interesting com composition here. Quick look at this, I would say. I think to be a uh, Quite balanced. Uh, at this point, uh, I think Mendes is probably the big favorite of this group. Uh, in an environment like this, I would see that the, uh, the other two spots could be fought between guys like uh, Hush, Guilherme, uh, Kofi as well, uh, Jakub as an outsider, Ibrasso and Slomi as well. But I think Mendes is obviously the big favorite for the group, but we'll see if that favoritism will, uh, will be proved in the actual world or not. Um, let me just do a quick search here to see where we are on the other group. I think it's to be almost going. And uh, as we are soon starting, uh, our first stage will be done, as we said earlier, Sateau de Lyon Primary. And um, 185.4 kilometers. There is um, three two tacks in the stage, the intermediate sprint, but at the tree climb. So, right there uh, in that uh, small section of flat after uh, what promises to be a very turbulent downhill. Uh, and then the riders will still have uh, one first cat and two three cats uh, for the rest, uh, com composing the entirety of what is intermediate points at stake for this stage. So, uh, I see players in the lobby. Not sure if all of them are here. Let me see. Jakub, Sloan, Huff, Ghost, Sandra, uh, Mendez is here. 
I think everyone should be here. I haven't seen them yet. But I believe everyone should be here. And uh, with that in mind, uh, 2, 380, uh, 384, 85, 60. So around 600 kilometers of tour uh, will be the race of the day. Uh, Keep in mind that uh, the top three of each group will qualify to the semi-finals. So these are already the quarterfinals. This third round is already a very important moment because the semi-finals presence is at stake. And once in the semi-finals, it's just another lobby away from being in the final. And to win though, you got to be there. So everyone will be fighting very hard for that qualification as we speak. Four groups, as I said, so three each at a glance. All right. I'm getting your locations here. Okay. Well, yeah, the steps are very helpful. Uh, and uh, I'll be uh, keeping an eye on it. But I'll be keeping an eye on it on this screen. I'll be just my screen here while we wait for the lobby to launch because I promise it to be a very intense uh, nights of battling. And we want to have all our screens ready. I already see one group underway. I do not see the uh, white wing um, live yet. We'll see what that is about. Okay, there we go. We're going in uh, group B. Because, as I said, B had already started, so we'll be taking a quick look at that. And as you can see, we already have uh, our players on the road. No break, obviously, established as the stage just started. And um, we are watching Il Grandissimo Fravo stream, as you can see on our uh, main screen. On your top right, uh, sorry, on your bottom right corner, you have uh, the center court that is still not launched, and so we'll be... Uh, Watching a few more meters as uh, there is an attack at the front. Uh, two teams, I believe, are already trying to go into the break. And I believe the uh, Spanish player is looking to join. See if we can identify who to win here. And meanwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I know how this goes. Not my first rodeo. Uh, as I was saying, we are still watching uh, B. Uh, oh, Frabo was there in an uh, interesting position with three of his riders, including his leader, and he's yet again uh, trying to persist in the break. I did not see who was him. Uh, it's the Slovenian team. I would need to quickly check who who in the group. Let me quickly check actually. And uh, Frabo's group is... Uh, Pierre, Aquarius, Alder, Shadow, I don't know who has slow, we need a probably one of the French players, I think, Ian Nico. We will see. In the meantime, uh, there's already 22 uh, riders on the front group. First KLM is coming in 20 kilometers, and uh, the break seems to be establishing itself with quite a lot of... Uh, of riders, it's uh, more than half of the peloton cur currently at the front, so uh, this could uh, bring some uh, spicy action at the end uh, at the final uh, section of climbing. If uh, people can put some uh, some of the riders in the front for later, uh, that right now, Trapo is the one relying in uh, E1, and uh, I see Shadow Alder is there. Uh, I think everyone's here, not sure, but I think so. With more or less riders, obviously, because I see one there. Three, four. And uh, I'm being uh, given the information that um, is uh, starting, and we're going there. I still do not have visuals on Vivo, and uh, so I don't know what's going on here. Re refresh, see if it's a uh, big mistake. 
Yeah, I know which one it is. I just don't have any visuals right now. We have some technical issues here, but I believe we are. Yes, we are indeed live in Joe Whiteley's group, as you can see right now. Uh, also started, uh, but not much going on yet. And uh, we do have, I believe, three riders at the front. Still early days, though. And I'm keeping an eye to see. Uh, group A is still launching, but finishing the loading process. And um, as we speak, Group C is already on the road as well. So we will go back to our central court after a quick passage for uh, Group A. If you are listening, give me a quick uh, look at group A as it is about to start. Each group, here it is. And so we can also see the start here. Everything seems to be in order. 42 riders are about to start the stage. We still have um, group B on the uh, multicast, but I am currently uh, having a quick glance at group A. Where the stage has been launched. A rolling start has been launched. And, um, the riders are on their way. Falling behind! A team leader is falling behind! Puncture! The rider will have to burn some... Alright, we move to center courts because it has also finally started and that is what we are here to comment and focus for the evening, at least. And uh, we have the live picture let me see it is us right now uh at the front of the race with Kosti and Jakob uh trying to see who else uh so if it's um members are we doing them now joining so everyone placing three riders in the break oh, oh there's another move there's another move right there. there's another move Slowly, okay, that was the kindness. But... I don't know what he was saying seriously, I don't know what happened there. But the stage is underway, and I believe that Evo should be now the one uh, trying to join with his three men, and he should be about to do so very soon. Oh, yeah, well, of course. Well, I don't see it, though, but uh, maybe you told them to, I don't know, I'm not sure. All right, we go back to uh, even any some of the group, which is um, group B. Well, the first KOM is about to be one. Uh, Actually, no, that was the Peloton passing there, because there's already uh, quite the explosion here in uh, what used to be the break. So, there's attacks going on here and there, not for where um, everyone is at this point. I'll still see trouble in the Peloton. I see at least six players in the Peloton, so... Uh, however, there's quite the divided group here at the front. So there's a lot of action going on here right now. In the meantime, uh, Center Court is going into the first climb, so uh, we're going to move back there. Smith. And I believe it is uh, Jeremy that is leading uh, the riders into the climb. We have 8.5, everyone uh, is trying to catch up to the Portuguese. He has his puncher there. But he has 26 seconds and he's not particularly slowing down. So he seems to be hell-bent on getting the gap and possibly also the KOM points. Hasn't been particularly... Uh, Cherishable World Championships for the Portuguese player that has been, uh, well, regarding his solo uh, tendencies in recent years, pretty much up to standards. Nothing special has been done by him. 
But let's see if he tries to reverse this uh, this tendency here and if he can qualify mm. for the semi-final of four. Uh, once there, he could indeed be one of the very big threats uh, for the group in which he would be placed. I don't even know what that is, and so a bit more information. All right, so we go back to Fabo's group of what you're saying, Emil, because I'm getting the... Okay, there we go. I'm getting the information that we will do a quick look at um, group B. There we go. We go back to group B. And in the meanwhile, let me see how things evolved here. Things seem to be a little less hectic right now, as uh, 20 men are together at the front again. Uh, there's four men there in the middle of nowhere. I assume it might have been an actual attack made by Ali, I'm not sure. We were not following at this point. Uh, but there is uh, some place being there, done there at the Peloton, and right now there was an attack in E1. Uh, Poland, I'm not sure if it's Shadows. I know it's one of the French players playing with Slovenia. Uh, Fabo is keeping his uh, Vars control at the back of the Peloton. And uh, 1.6 kilometers to go into the KOM. It looks like the French player has it. Let's see. Oh, I see what you're doing here, Emma. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, okay. As you can see... Yeah, yeah. As you can see, the situation seems a bit more... Uh, yeah. The situation seems a bit more chill here in Group B after that first uh, KOM. Uh, since we are, since we do not have obviously the streamer there, it's probably that's broadcasting. Not entirely sure of who, where, and some of these uh, groups I had in the road. But uh, trying to see, so we still have six players here. Let me just quickly check my notes. So it's a seven-man group. Someone is probably like I. Uh, Predicted up the road at this point. Not for me. I'm gonna move this here, this here. Okay. Watch out! A team leader is falling behind. And now we're back in E2, where uh, with Castro Viejo, Fabo is trying to close the gap to the few riders that are alone at the front. And in the meanwhile, Fabo has, is having a very, very busy day right now. Trying to uh, manage both his groups. We have Yupi, and uh, I'm sure who it was. That we're relaying in the peloton, and uh, I see Aquarius there uh, taking his third rider next to the other two in front, so he can have his uh, three men back together as they try to follow whoever it is that is in the in the front. As we go to Cote de la Stel, uh twenty. Riders still in the peloton. Fravo trying to keep as much attention as possible between both groups to avoid any kind of uh, misfortune. And uh, I believe it was Alder. Alder actually attacks now from the peloton. Uh, I see Lopez, and I believe it's Vanal that should be uh, behind him. So. Alder is full thinning it right now. Uh, 
And uh, it's not close. He got the gap. Let's see. But Flavo immediately, immediately responds, trying to join. And he's up the road with Alder. Let's see just how this actually de develops right now. Uh, I think they might be brought in here. And uh, as the gap starts to go down, we go back to center court. As we finally are ready to the action there. Back to central court we go, and I'll soon give you all the details uh, about the rosters of our players in central court as I readjust to our new uh, window. Two seconds. There, this there. Okay. I could reduce this. Sorry, uh, putting my own windows correctly here, so there we go. Regarding rosters, uh, everyone has the 83, the 78, and the 76 mountain, obviously, as well as the puncher. Ibra took the, um, time trialist and the 85 rider, same as Jakub, uh, and Kosti, and Guilherme. Uh, Hus the time travelers and the 78 sprinter and slow me took the 85 the 80 flash guy and the 78 sprinter mended as well time trialist and 78 sprinter so these are the small differences of process here for this tour and uh we already have some groups spreading out here in the road as well i see Della Cruz here from mendez uh telephone is still uh 22 riders at this point. So it is my belief that we did not miss any leader attack that I can identify at this point. Okay, here we have Clem and Antunes up the road. Uh, Harsh trying to catch Clem with his riders as they're going to fight for yet another KOM. Let's see that KOM right now. Uh, everyone here just seems to be playing catch-up. They still have around one minute. There we go. Guilherme, so, uh, Grebo and Amabon, uh, and but... A little Husky seems to be, uh... Still insisting in, in the, in the pursuit, but the gap is stable right now. It's not going down the 22nd mark. 30 now, 25. Three kilometers to go. Let's see if we then can take these important KOM points. Every point can, uh, can can be decisive at the end of the day. As often at uh, this stage of the competition, things begin to uh, get closer and closer between players in the classification to pass rounds. And uh, oh, that's all she wrote for Gray when Solentin will now go into the final kilometer uh, to take those points as he will uh, have to deal with it alone, but he has more than enough room. That's the KOM when Hush will take second, third, and fourth, and Ruben the Punter will uh, take the lift uh, with Hush's man so that they, he can join his teammate. And here we have the Peloton, 22 riders, there's some pace going on. Uh, is that Guilherme as well in the front? I just see yes, some there. Curious to see if he was trying something. Or, uh... And now Slowly is actually taking the uh, lead. Uh, I don't know what he was complaining about right now. I'm not sure what's happened. Because we did miss some part of it. Um... Yeah, I want to be here. I don't know what Swami was doing there with Bader, but now it's them facing with all the other. Can you check into him and see who we have there? Is there any leader at the front that I've missed? I don't think so. I'm trying to understand what's going on. No. Alright, meanwhile, before the intermediate sprint, we will be uh, 
taking a quick look at the other groups, we're going to start with uh, Group A. As we move the multicast back into Group A, uh, who also finished its first uh, climb now. There doesn't seem to be uh, a lot of action going on, going on. Oh, I see T2X, we have four men there. Three, four men, I believe, at the front. Uh, one, two, three, four. But that, that doesn't seem to be uh, anything else than a breakaway uh, with quite the gap. So let's take a uh, quick peek at uh, Group D now. What Bravo is up to. And uh, intermediate sprint already done for the uh, Bravo group. And he's trying to take the KOM with Sonny Cole Bradley, his puncher. Let's see if you can uh, do it uncontested, although there is uh, 300 meters to go, but he's going to take it easily, and he's going to take second place even. Uh, nine men remain in the break, but the peloton is coming and is about to attack. Uh, but there was movement there, because I already see Hershey and still Frobo took the opportunity to just go, and there's people trying to respond. Uh, which leads us to go at Group B quickly to see what's going on before we go back to our center court. Group B is the likely group. Uh, once again, we need to apologize to our viewers to go, uh, because we're showing how with the Champions League jersey, uh, but it is what it is as we actually won it. Uh, the likely group is uh, currently uh, in the Plus, that's going to have to pressing the intermediate sprint. So we're going to our center court where the intermediate sprint is already being fought. I see Hus right there uh, about to take first and then take second. So, uh, Hush actually taking the, um, the intermediate sprint win, followed by Glenn. And um, I believe, let's see, in there, if you can confirm that. Actually, no, there was someone up the road. Oh, no, it was it was them too, yes. Us and Elan, so that was correct. Really? Uh, keep the center card up, but I'll, I'll do a quick peek just to um, see if it's <laughs> evolving. <laughs> I'm guessing, uh, yeah, they are together in the front group. Okay, back to our center court because currently nothing is uh, happening there, but I'm sure you'll keep us updated if needed. In the meanwhile, six minutes, a little bit less than six minutes right now, five and a half from the break to Peloton. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, second to last third cut in the stage. Uh, as the climb has begun, 3.5 kilometers, 6.9 percent average at 766 uh, meters of altitude. There's some movement here in the E1 group, and uh, I believe it's the uh, Mendes with the La Cruz trying to heal the KLM, quote unquote. Uh, the zebra, uh, I don't know who the guy on the right is, the French, it's really the Tussie, but it's me. But it seems like Mendes. Uh, is going to take it. Ibra is going to take second and third. Five minutes are still left into the break. Looking here. 78 Mountain from Mendez. Oh, slow me attacks. Slow me is attacking right now. Already has. The gap, 30 seconds, 36, let's see if someone responds. Uh, there's no immediate response. I see Kosti on the left side might be preparing his movement. 
50 seconds already from uh, Slomi. Uh, but Ghosty goes in with Ghosty goes to them. And Hurst is gonna go next. And everyone is just trying to respond to the French's original uh, attack. Slomi going strong with his rider, but everyone is desperately trying to close him right now. Go see with three Guillermo on German's wheel. 28 seconds. And uh, this changes uh, things a little bit. The gap was originally uh, still around five minutes to uh, Peloton. Let's see how it uh, stays after this right now. Slowly, still going strong at the front of the race with three riders because he's still trying to catch up. And then still going on goes to wheel without uh, offering one single move. Uh, because I assume Gosti has uh, the extra rider. Let's go with that. So, uh, Slomi is pretty much on a, uh, on a time trial, on a three-man time trial at this point to see how far he can go. Uh, 28 seconds. Uh, there's some divisions here. Uh, and so we'll take this chance to actually visit uh, the other groups before we move here into the final. Uh, let me quickly see how things are going in the other group. Just to see where we will go first. Okay, we can start with Group A, uh, and in Group A, we are uh, past the uh, third to last climb, and uh, trying to understand what's going on here. I also need to adjust the quality of the image. There we go, perfect. I see the peloton uh, still very well formed. Doesn't be as sad as it was in the other group. You go back to C as Hush attacks. I am told that Hushi is attacking with Thibaut Pinot, his leader. And so this is actually a very important moment. 9.7 to go into the second to last categorized climb of the day. Hushi makes his move. And it's a interesting gap. He needs to try and keep uh, that gap for as long as he can. Uh, because if you start the third climb with it, maybe we have uh, an interesting race situation here launched. But he needs to take the 30 seconds into the climbing. Let's see if he can do it. It's Mendes that's what you're trying to close the, the Frenchman. 30 seconds still. Uh, Hush is putting all his eggs uh, in the pinot basket right now with this attack. And he has begun the climbing with 36 seconds. 38, 36, 29, now 27. Oh, and then there's Esper trying to close, but Ghosty isn't uh, going to wait for that. He simply moves, he moves. Oh, his third rider died, though, I believe, or looked like he was dying. Yes, he did. And now Guilherme is approaching the German. The race is imploding, and Slomi is still doing his uh, now two man time trial at the front. and. The race is exploding here, so we will uh, actually stick to the situation right now as people can all pass the uh, second final headcraft climb of the day. Moves into the next one with almost one minute now on the clock over everyone else, and the race is launched indeed. 50 seconds. Let's see if they can work together here now. Mendes is finally putting pace again. Uh, a rider from Yakov drops the uh, might exactly there he goes. Also starts to relay now. And he's slowing as well. As the primary is uh passed. But uh if we could go to the front to see uh Okay we cover actually no we're gonna quickly move to compete because I'm told they are on the final climb. Let's see how this is going there. Yes, they are. 6.7 to go. I see Mark Hershey is still here for Frabo. I see uh, 14 riders chasing four. Let's see how the things go for the Italian team. Seems to be on a very complicated predicament right now. He has no helpers. What did, was Frabo eating riders or something? He seems to be all alone at this point. And this is not the place where he wants to be like that. And everyone is back together. 18 riders. Bravo is dangling right there alone, no help. Alder lost his third man, uh, Aquarius 
I also lost his third man. There's a French guy that still has four. And Frabo dangling alone with the leader. This is gonna be a mountain sprint, pretty much 2.2 to go. I think it's Yubi at the front, I believe he's the German. Uh, and he makes his move, 1-7, Mountain sprint almost happening. Alder is there at the center on the left side. Frabo is there, just fighting to survive at this point, to not lose time. Alder moving on the left side. But I think it's you. You still taking the front of the race, 900 meters to go. And uh, he's in a very good position. Now everyone coming right, left, center. Alder is there as well. Alder takes the front, but the German is still there. Sprint to sprint, and he's going to sprint into the win. And Daniel Miko was going to get second. He's going to get passed by Alder, and he's going to take the stage when it's going to be followed by Alder, Alder, Pierre, Alder, Pierre. And the guy needs to help Robert is going to lose 10, 15 seconds. Yeah. Funny, even. Yeah. Okay, so that was group B. Let's see if anyone else is finishing. I'll take a quick look right now. Yeah, group D is also the one we're going to look right about now. 8.4 to go. Moving into the final climb, we are. Uh, this is the Joe Whiteley group. Yeg up there. The Thomas and Tal here. 16 men as well. See, we seem to be having in yet another mountain sprint. Four point eight to go. Uh, the pace isn't as high as expected though, and so yet another mountain sprint. As we have a uh, post, the end game attack in center court. We are now going to stay with center court until the end because the race is imploding here. Uh, let's see, 50 50 screen if we can, Emma. Thank you. Uh, and now center court focusing with. Uh, well, he's still at the front with one rider, but he's not going to make it for the stage. And let's see right behind him there, right behind. Okay, uh, Joe Scoop is about to sprint, so if you're watching both groups on your screen, I'll tell you right now, Joe likely moving on the center, there's someone already ahead, I believe, Basso? Uh, Thomas moving, oh, but I think it's going to be for the Slovakian. Gavin Thomas is still there, getting close, but Basso still has the energy, Basso has 300 meters, Basso is in the front of the race. There's someone passing Joe Whiteley as well, I don't know who that is, but it's going to be the win for the Slovakian, Basso takes the first stage win. And I do not know who it was, uh, ASP or the White. We want to be close, but it's the White for taking second and ASP taking third. I'm gonna quickly look at, uh, A, see how much they have left. But right now we have 3.2 to go in our group. Slowly still has a man up the front, but there goes, uh, Ebra trying to catch him. That yeah, we still have 15 to go in the other group, so we will finish it first. <laughs> Oh, she's still going. Let's try to understand who is where. I see them here. Jakob here. The race has indeed exploded. The riders are in a portion above 10%. Uh, now it's Ibra with his 70 uh, rider trying to get the, the stage win. One kilometer to go. Mendes desperately trying to catch on, but Ghosty is coming like a train in motion, but he's not. He doesn't seem like he's going to make it unless the riders at the front are done in energy. Go the Ghost Man is now accelerating with his leader. He might actually still have this. Oh, he's not. He's not because Ibra saved his energy very well. And Jan Polank, Ibra's 78 mountain rider, takes the lead, followed by Mendes, a 78 rider, and Guzman is the first leader to cross the finish line in third place. He will get a few seconds to Thibaut Pino from Hurst, and only then will come Juan Almeida from Guilherme, and Rafa Maika from um, Jakub, and Pogacar from Ibra. Slomi will also lose a few more behind in 11th place. So, that was a uh, 
messy ending, uh, but the ghost man actually being the guy that takes the advantage of the original uh, Hashi uh, attack by getting third place in the stage with uh, his leader. The whole stage win for uh, Ibra, second place for Mendes. Everything is still out in the open in this group. Quick look at group uh, A, yeah, exactly. Quick look at group A, as we are also about to finish there. Five point one to go. Still have people here in the front uh, stage. Should be for them. Let's see though, because Mama Mahade is already at the front of the peloton. We are getting to the steep part. He two with his puncher still here. That was Leo Falandri up there as well. Steam is here. The peloton is. Moving forward, and there's an attack there, I believe. Yes, it's the Papa in the the Papa trying to free Alanda, but right now no one is uh, in agreement with that. As Alanda is not getting the gap he would have liked, and he's still forcing the move. The stage is going to be for Iwando, uh, whoever that is. Uh, it's going to be for the fugitive. But here we have the Battle of the GC. Cosmo Flat is done for T2. He has to focus on Bade now. There's another movement on the right side. T2 needs to position himself better 500 meters to go. And uh, the fugitive, I believe it was a fugitive that is going to cross the line, will. Uh, 78 rider of uh, Steen, Mari Panzeva now, followed by. My turn is back on that it's going to be Leo Falandri taking third place with Thibaut Pino. I believe he's going to take it. And he will indeed. There we go. Martin is fourth. So we have gaps for um, the group here. Uh, Ypres had 11 seconds to uh, Mendes, but those are 78 riders. Then goes to 20 seconds behind the state winner. Gained 19 seconds on her. Uh, Kigama was 27 seconds down uh, from Ghosty, 47 seconds from the stage winner. And at the same time as Guilherme, Ibra 6 seconds down from the Portuguese and the Spanish, and Yaku same time as Ibra. Lomi lost uh, 115, so um, uh, 45 seconds to... Um, I think that's all already, and we will be looking this for the Gucci that I was speaking, and we will be... Uh, as the time trials uh, apart, back to Central Court to see the actual VC now. There we go. Uh, MAS guy is uh, rolling uh, Dennis going, so we are waiting for uh, the image to be tested. Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to repeat, so Ghost is currently the best placed leader. Uh, Yellow Jersey is in the hands of Jan Polak, uh, Polank, Ivers helper. Mendes was uh, also 78 helper in second place, 11 seconds down on Ivers. Ghost is 20 seconds on, uh, 20 seconds down on the 78 rider of Ivra. But he's the first leader uh, crossing the finish line, and Hush is 19 seconds down from him. Guilherme is uh, 18 seconds uh, down from uh, Hart and uh, uh, sorry, um, 27 seconds down from Gofi, there we go, Mendes is the same time as Guilherme. Ibra has 6 more seconds than Guilherme and Mendes, so 33 seconds by this point. Uh, Jakob is the same time as Ibra and Slomi is already 45 seconds. Uh, sorry, 55, uh, 55 seconds down from Gofi. So, uh, not the best stage for the French Slomi. He already lost over one minute almost to the Ghost Man. Uh, but other than that, uh, the gaps are still close. There's still a few riders here that can resolve it in one uh, attack. So, we are back in the city for See, well, we were always there, but we finally have a picture. And I would like to see the uh, GC uh, AMA when we can, as we'll keep this all going. Quick look ahead of the GC, first of all.
There we go. Yeah, pretty not the uh, not really that good for slow me. So uh, as we're picking up now, see the time trial is here in motion. As we already move into the second and last intermediate, last one before the finish line. Here comes Armirai, and uh, he is 400 meters away from the second intermediate point, and he will cross the finish line. Uh, sorry, the intermediate at first. Followed by Jakob time trialist that does, I did not see, uh, 10 seconds. Now Ibra's turn. 14 seconds down from uh, Armenai. Now Guilherme with Machado, 21 seconds down. And Mendez is now gonna pass. Fifth man to pass with his time trialist is 27 seconds down. There we go, Ghosty now. He was six seconds down on the first intermediate checkpoint. Let's see how he does at the second. 1.4 kilometers to go for Ghosty to reach that point. And then there asks a call, I believe the slow meet crest. Mendes is unable to pause at the moment, and I completely missed uh, Ghosty, I believe, was second. Armirai is going to cross the finish line in first. And uh, let's see if someone can take his time or not. 10 seconds for Jakob. Eber, let's see how Eber does here. He's going to cross the finish line at... Uh, 6 seconds actually. And yet now, 20 seconds. And this will be again uh, the fifth at the finish line, the fifth time for Alice. And he does... 24 seconds. What are we missing here? Well, the first one that I can... Yeah, there we go. One kilometer for the ghost man. He was nine seconds down on second intermediate. Hashi is a very good time trial. Let's see if the ghost man can do it. He cannot. It's 16 seconds for the ghost man. They're now waiting uh, for the leaders to be on the road. We already have Paul Mambardet there. Uh, 49 seconds down on the first thing to intermediate. Michael 33. Uh, Paul Alfred 39. Banda 43. Almeida 40. Pino 31. And Buchmann 34. See how this goes. So let's start, uh, I think. Are is ahead, yeah, we have to come it out. 155 at the second intermediate, that's uh, the time of reference now to Rafael Micah. I think he lost 30 seconds to Micah from what I saw. Uh, 122 to uh, Ibra, slightly better. Mendez 141. Guilherme 129, still very close for some. Goes to 13, seems to be in the better position right now. Huff 133. 126 for Goatsby. So right now, it is a battle that you see that we also want to see. There goes Roman Bardet. About to finish his time trial. Romy's leader. 2.2 to go. There he goes. So we crossed across the line at 2.8. So now we see Bardet. 2.20. Oh, one fifty. Oh, it's pop. Pop and try this. Yes, it is. Two two actually. Not ideal for Ibra, and let's see two nine for Mendez. One two for Gold. Be getting more time there. Two thirteen for Guilherme, and now Hart about to cross the finish line. Let's see what he can do. One fifty nine, and uh, there we go. Go to two one. And we'll see how this friend listens to the GC. Yeah, it's hard to be an interesting uh, situation for Goatsby, who uh, I think got a few, more, uh, a few more seconds on everyone else.
slowly is uh, quite down right now. You guys are doing much better. Uber, a lot of people in few minutes. And uh, there we go. Oh, Bookman is there to one. Um, sorry, it was confusing. The uh, riders for both people, Bookman, everyone seems to be at two minutes margin. I see the riders there. There we go. And as we launch stage two. And while we wait for the stage to launch, we're going to move to uh, group B, which is probably. And uh, stage three has uh, started, uh, although it isn't uh, full of action yet, but the break is already trying to stop. As our center court is launching, as you can see at the bottom right of your screen. And uh, there we go. Uh, 11 men, but the break isn't fully established yet, as there is only 27 seconds. Travel trying to go with three men. And uh, there's still some reluctance on part of the peloton letting it go. Aquarius now joining, and I believe Alder is trying to join too. Well, Let's see how this goes. Some fast pace there at the front of the race. Let's see if someone ends up getting dropped. Aquarius keeping his uh, his two riders there next to everyone else. Uh, let's go actually out of this. Central Park is starting, so we will also uh, move back there and we'll see how this ends up here later. As we start, uh, I will let Emir do his thing and see uh how it will be as i will be absent be right back that's really a punchy attack tujis goes onto the attack break away at the front Going to take them on by himself. The riders are going through a very tough portion with percentages above 10%. All right, as I return uh, back to our center court, I see that there uh, is not a break yet. Uh, everyone's still together, for two riders, 6 on 6 until our first KOM of the day, a first cat, call the collie. And it uh, seems to be Hushy now finally making the first move. Shop 
followed by Slomi and uh, Guillem. Three riders each. Although Hussey has four, so let's see if he's uh, possibly planning some kind of uh, later uh, attack as he sends the four guys. Others have not moved yet. 4.2 to go until the first KOM. And uh, Hush leading in uh, the break right now. Uh, as Ibra and uh, Jakob arrive. Okay, there we go. I have some information now. Uh, yes, Wolfman, I'm currently looking at TC to, clar to clarify. So 21 second advantage from Ghosty to Huss. Uh, Slow me is a bit. Uh, 25 uh, five seconds down from um, from Huss, so he did recover with the TT. So uh, Paul Lank is still leading. So let's give refer reference times to him that it's easier. Buchmann is 119. Uh, Pino is 140. Paul is uh, 145. Jakub is 153. With my cup, Pogacar 157. Lana 158, uh, Noah Almeida 22, and Roland Lale 237. So Sloming continues to not have the, uh, the best of times in GC. As for scores, after the first two stages, the situation says that Ibra is leading with 40 points, Hart second 30, Ghost to third 15, same points as men is in fourth, uh, Jakub fifth with 10, then sixth with 2, and Sloming seventh, and in the mouth with the zero. Alright. We go back to um, the center court, and uh, Roman Bardet is already uh, in a bit of uh, trouble there, I guess. I don't know what happened. I was seeing the uh, points of the group, but I guess it dropped. Just don't know how. Trying to play catch up. It's a uh, only 45 seconds, given that there's uh, still a little bit of downhill to go, might not be a uh, worst possible scenario for him. Although the pace is going at the front. I don't think that there would be, if we could see if someone's placing there in there right now, in the peloton, someone's actually placing the house. Of course, house. Rider is looking to break away. Oh, actually, house went with Bordeaux, so I don't think it was placing because. Not really uh, a big issue to him that um, well, they would drop or not. As Slomi is uh, seventh and last in GC currently. Already quite a few riders dropped at that first cat. Uh, 28 left and Godon for half that attack. Uh, At the time where Roman Bardet is back at the Peloton. <laughs> Alright, we'll see about that at the end of the session now. Indeed. So, in two seconds, uh, KLM of the day, there's already some pace. Uh, but also not going solo, that's part of uh, 30 seconds behind, there's a rider as well, if you could see them. Uh, so it helps the Eber already, uh, moving Polank up the road. A rider is taking his chance alone. Let's see what happens here, Bill Bow is there. If uh, Huss still has energy left to take this game run. Eight hundred meters, thirty four seconds. And uh Golos Yako Spuncher is attacking to try and pass him, but if there won't be time, Huss is going to take the KOM. Second is Jakob. And uh third is Jakob as well with Malik. Able to get some strength back. So, nine men at the front with all this KOM action, uh, including at least 278 that I can see. 
a tree with my life came from uh, Yakov, so... Go down when the... And go was, uh, still have a small advantage to the others in the break, and here it is, uh... The downhill is still in effect as we wait for the intermediate sprint to come in 6.7 kilometers. And uh, let's see if uh, Hush and Yakov will uh, actually work together to try and get uh, them ranking points, as Ronnie O'Sullivan would say. Who's coming? Who's the E2 area now? Who is about to join them? It is Robin Grey who uh, Guillermo's contract. And 3.4 to go. Now Yakov uh, passing in the front. Uh, acceleration and uh, losing uh, more seconds. And uh, the sprint will now be launched by uh, Harsh. Call is launching, but Harsh seems to have a good lead. And he's going to take the win. Second will be Yakov. Third will be Gigan with five. And. Um, Pelopon seems to be a bit more calm after that uh, downhill or everything seems to be at a uh, hushed with Pino at the front of the Pelopon right now. Uh, okay. Uh, as the situation is a bit more calm, we are going to uh, deck A right now. And see how things are doing here. First climb in effect. I see T2 with Holland and uh, Cosmos Bar. Peloton has 32 guys. Uh, there's a few movements, nothing out of the extraordinary. Let's see if we can uh, try and understand a little bit of the situation right now. Uh, Jakub is attacking right now. Jakub is, is attacking right now, and we are back due to this to uh, center court, ladies and gentlemen. Rafa Maika is going at it. Yeah, I'm actually responding with uh, Jean Almeida. They go at the third cat for us, climb of the day, a first cat for the Jean Almeida. And uh, Maika is really going at it. He already has uh, over one minute over. Peloton and Hush now responding, uh, finally putting some movement, some pace into the leaders group. And here, five kilometers to go. Uh, the players are thinking about KOM uh, fight, but uh, Jakob is around. Sorry, my microphone apparently died, and I was, as I was saying, everyone has, was having considerations about uh, KOM points. Jakob was about to reach them, and he does, and he doesn't really care that much about KOM right now. He is on a mission to attack, and he has four men at the front. Two minutes gap, and uh, let's get the Peloton can organize the pursuit. Now, Jakob passing to the front of the break, obviously, as he will be the one expected to pace with his leader there. And uh, it's Rafael Maika leading his man into uh, the KOM, but uh, Antun is attacking with Kilem and Poland is going to follow, and it's going to be a one for the Portuguese and a two for the Tunisian player Ever from PCM UK that also takes the third place. And Guilherme uh, is now trying to uh, to move with Pogacar, uh, Ibra's Pogacar, but everyone is controlling. I don't think they have a gap. And uh, Jakob now putting Malaki in relay duties, as he already has 3 minutes and 20. So going to, this valley here is going to be a very important um, 
part of the stage for Jakob after this next climb. He will need to uh, avoid losing more than one helper at this point, as he still has two climbs ahead and he still needs to try and keep that gap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you guys could see all the uh, indications I get here, you guys would be having a hoot. A hoot, I tell you not. Although I did laugh about that one as uh, as bright joke as, as it is in there, I did laugh about it. So, um, here we go, Ruben Grebel, yet again going for some more uh, damn racking points with um, Antun, I think. Oh, he's taking Antunes into the points and. Uh, Mendes was third and fourth, I believe. Because Emea is never at one place section. long enough to see who takes what. Yes, it was the, the case. Yeah, Portugal, Portugal, Spain. There we go. And, uh... Still three minutes for, uh, Jakob. Situation seems to be a bit more calm. And, uh, in the valley we're going to quickly check uh, the other groups, as I was saying, we go to group A and now see what's happening there because he never had the chance to see what was going on. As we go into the um, first, second K1 of the day on the Peloton, we are currently watching T2 in group A. Uh, 24 riders in the Peloton, uh, 8 in E1, and 2 a little bit behind, which are actually T2's riders, Cosmofly and uh, someone else I missed. But overall, things seem to be calm here, so quick look at uh, you can see uh, group B as soon as we can. In Frabos group, we are up for, uh, approaching uh, Col de Saint Francois, so it's the uh, second to last climb of the day. And uh, there's a few riders up the road, yes. Uh, and there's someone that attacked, not sure who, but a leader. Uh, Miko has two riders here. Uh, Bravo is in the front group with people. Now Hershey. Alder also making a move here. It seems we quickly need to check uh, the Whitley's group before we move back to our center court as we expect some action in a little bit. And let's see uh, here in group D. If Emea is keeping up, of course, we should be by now in Group D, as I see uh, movement from riders at the front, but no major attack at this point. That I can see. I see a yellow jersey, not sure if it's a leader or not, by the way. Let me try and understand that. Thomas now. Oh, Thomas attacks by Joe Whiteley into the climb, so he is definitely chasing uh, whoever that is at the front. And we have uh, Firecracks going here in Group D as well, so yet another movement this time done by a uh, British player Joe Whiteley. As our val uh, valley is about to end in center court, we will return there to uh, Group C and see how that climb will be uh, approached by our center court. And it is about to start in less than two kilometers. Marcos, he said, I don't, I don't see why I should work for six, sorry. Guillaume says, I have no words, he never does. Not any good one, at least. And Slomi says, Ghost is feeling. And I think Ghost is right. I mean, why would he have to carry everyone else? Emea maps later, let me see how the situation is here. Uh, Jakob kept two helpers, so I believe his uh, third helper just died now. So that was exactly what he needed to do into this climb. Plan is going well for him, and the gap is almost five minutes. And Hush now has enough of this and tries to move, but everyone is just going to follow him. And uh, let's see if we're going to get a uh, gap. In the meantime, still 60 kilometers to go, so this is not completely done yet for uh, Jakob. It's not completely sealed yet. Uh, and as Hus responds, let's see if the pace can still increase enough to uh, catch him. And there's two 
their climb's coming, so let's see. Harsh was closed, and I believe Guillem now is going with uh, Zlom Almeida. There we go. Guillem flying again. Ghosty trying not to lose the movement there. Slow me sticking or trying to stick to them real Portuguese was accelerating now Ebers coming from the center the stage is starting to implode people are starting to uh, try and get their movements done as they are in desperation because Yakov continues to go with a major gap around 529 now so Tadej Pogacar from Ibra now is moving but Tomi who is last place isn't letting anyone move and is killing everything that moves in the form of attacks. And uh, now let's see what he does if he actually paces. Jakob, almost six minutes now. And uh, I believe it. Guilherme now taking the front of the peloton. Slow me. Uh, I don't know what the French is doing here other than closing everyone's gaps and not doing anything when he closes them. And uh, let's see if Guilherme moves or not. Guilherme does not make the move, and it's Slomi now who finally tries to make a move. And Pogacar was a bit stuck there as he would try to respond, but Gossi immediately responds with his four remaining riders. And Slomi is going full force into the second to last climb, and Gossi is the one trying to keep up. Ibra is still managing to stay close to the German. A little behind is Hus, but Ibra is not stopping, and Gossi is accelerating, and Slomi is still going. Can they ca catch up to the French? And in the meantime, the meantime, sorry, still six minutes to Yako. Let's see here. Uh, Slomi already lost one man in the attack. Ibra already uh, backed one man to help as he lost the helper. And Rafa Maika is now in solo mode, I believe. Yes, he is. Uh, terrible, terrible time to be solo, but eventually it was expected to happen at some point and now uh Torres are again trying to go as others were catching up and uh 643 and the other leaders are back together at it here we have a half Micah 155 over uh Bilbao, i think it is the second rider down the road mendes was 78 if i recall correctly and the climb is almost finishing, yet to restart soon again. Alpha Micah will take the KOM, that is guaranteed. Now let's see, seven minutes now. Primoz Roglic goes into the attack. And Primoz Roglic is going with uh, his leader Tede Pogacar. But everyone is responding again. Slow me yet again, trying to close everything that moves. And taking Ghosty with him, the gap seems to be closed. Not the uh, smartest playing there from Slomi, not gonna lie, at all. And uh, speaking of the devil, Slomi is the one uh, leading now, let's see what he does. Uh, Ghosty had his upper block there for a little bit, and he's back. 6.25 now, as um, Alpha Michael went into the downhill, and Paul Anker is about to be caught. Uh, Jakub still has 6.30 into the next climb, but obviously no further helpers Mr. with him. Will allow the riders to recover from their earlier efforts. Situation is now a bit tense in this group. We will not be moving right now because this is actually a decisive stage for the GC. Jakub is, if you just joined us, uh, currently moving with a 6.35 gap on everyone else with the leader, Rafael Micah. Now, in a solo after having uh, taken his team into a massive uh, attack earlier on and he still has 634 going uh, into the second to last downhill of the day as the final climb will start for him in less than three kilometers Paul Micah trying to make things happen here 153 down on DC which is uh, which is the same thing to say around 130 or so uh, Below uh, Ghosty is leader on GC, which is the best place leader after the time trial. And uh, let's see if there's some kind of cooperation here in this peloton because it has been 
anything uh, or the last thing to happen so far. It's been abysmal, and uh, the only thing we've seen is just people uh, closing each other's moves, especially with Spellman for some reason. That was a bit weird. Oh, I'm getting information that Frabble's group is there for the end of the climb, so we can actually check that. Yes, group B, I believe, so let's actually do that. There we go, end of the final climb, 4.5 to go. I see Frabble's Mark Hershey in the front, again alone, of course. Yubi still has a helper with him. Miko is alone, Alder is alone, and uh, the other two French that I cannot remember exactly who they are are also without helpers. 3.2 to go, Frabble trying to join Yubi. Manages to do so, avoids the dead rider, and uh, there's someone up the road, it's Aquarius, there we go, it's Aquarius, that's one minute up the road with his leader, and everyone else seems to be together at the end of the climb, let's see if someone else survives or not, because Yubi is bouncing again, attacking, as a French player trying to go with him, Frabo trying to close on that as well, but Yubi seems to have seemed to have the gap, but quickly they are closing on him. And Alder is at the back of the group, maybe trying to activate survival mode right now because there's 700 meters to go, and whoever doesn't make it here is pretty much done. Let's see. Yubi is going to cross the line in second for the KOM. Aquarius seems to have not only the stage in the bag, but also a good uh, chunk of time for GC unless something bizarre happens. So, uh, if something is happening in the other groups, uh, Group D for Joe is also about to pass the same moment, so let's see. Uh, 600 meters to go, I see Joe Whiteley and um, Zapata maybe, I believe, was the Spanish player in this. 200 to go. And it's, I believe, Zapata ahead, and Joe Whiteley is second with Gavin Thomas, but the Spanish gets the gap. And Joe Whiteley says, oh, it's Miru, Miru, there we go, that makes more sense, actually. And uh, Joe Whiteley says, GG. So the Spaniard has advantage. Tibo Pino goes, we're back in Group C, back in Group C, everything is happening here at the same time, and Tibo Pino tries to go again. I have to remind people, 6.6 kilometers is to go, Jakob still has 6 6 no advantage, as Tibo Pino is trying to leave. It does not seem to, and now it's Slowly with Roland Barré. Slowly, Roland Barré, and uh, Roland is finally dead. Barré goes solo, Buffman tries to follow, Guillem still has a helper, but Barré is going like a madman trying to close that gap. In his wheel, there was someone that I think was Ghosty, and he's about to close it now. Guillem comes followed, Ypres still has his helper as well. Mendes is arriving in now, uh, as we speak, Ypres and Hus without helpers. 5.32 to go, Jakob is in a perfect position here to take the GC unless something really bizarre happens. And I... There we go. Rafael Maika still has 5.24 with 1.4 kilometers to go into the KOM. People already complaining of blocks, I don't know. Not my... Uh, Think to comment for obvious reasons, I cannot comment on that. But there goes Rafael Maika, and he passes the line. I'm being told that Fravo's group ended. We'll have to see that later because right now we actually have a um... oh, Nikalanda actually is attacking. So forget the other groups. Center court has action into the downhill. It is Mikalana trying to get time on everyone else. And there he goes. Other leaders are still trying to uh, to follow. And they close. Landa died into the downhill, but I think he did it just in time to avoid not being dropped. I think. But I may as not confirming. As Pogachar from Ibra attacks, it's them with Almeida and Hush in the wheel. I'm also getting confirmation that Group D ended. We'll update you on the results soon. Slomi has been obviously dropped uh, with Roland Bardet, so he will definitely be uh, last after this stage, which he already was in the GC. And uh, Mendes manages to get back to Gauthier uh, and Ibra, and uh, Hush again doing an attack to Pinot. 
Jakob in the meantime playing golf with four minutes advantage over everyone about to take the leadership of the PC and now she's attacking again with, with Pino. It's gonna have this time to trust to close. I believe he did. The gap is not uh, happening, so Lars definitely trying to make it happen and he goes again. He goes again and again and again. Guillermo responds and goes to as well. Oh, but they're gonna capture Ypres and Mendes. Ypres and Mendes needs to hurry. A gap is still there. A gap is still there. Let's see if they can close it. They do. But Hush is going, really going like a madman as Rafa Maika prepares to cross the finish line, win the stage, win the GC, and most likely take uh, first place of the POM classification currently. Congratulations to Jakob and Rafa Maika as they take the leadership of the GC with one stage to go. And now 2.4 kilometers to go. Everyone here is preparing for the sprint. Uh, that was Buchmann again trying to attack Pino and the sprint is going 1.4 to go. I see Guilherme there in the middle with Almeida. He's going, he's sprinting, he seems to be going in for the second place. No, it's... It is Guilherme and Ivers third. And uh, Costi fourth, Hush fifth, Mendes sixth, and uh, Sony with Bale is in the mud. Okay, uh, let's see Group A because I believe it was the only one not over yet and we did have to follow Center Court, obviously. Just a quick reminder of the results we had here in Joe Whiteley's group. I saw Miru winning. Joe Whiteley second, 13 seconds behind. Boston third, 26. They got fourth, same time. ESG, same time in fifth. Uh, in a probable group stage three is already beginning. And uh, we follow the final time of Group A for now. Everything is uh, happening here. Okay, so we're going to start uh, the final ascension of Group A's uh, third stage with the sun. A very bright here. And T2 in a dangerous position there in the back of the group. Manages to recover. Ben Young says he was playing on relaying on the mountain. Nice plan, says Leo Falandu. Okay, we do have a classification here of the stage for um, Group C that says that Jakob gained 335 on everyone except uh, slow me that lost an additional 23 seconds so uh yeah a, a major major uh result for Jakob that managed to turn the tables which means that now in gc uh alpha mica now has three minutes and 11 seconds over ghosties uh you know it's third at 332 345 uh 45 and fourth place is Ibra. 348 in fifth place is Guilherme. Sixth place is Mendes 350, uh, uh, which I thought was going to be one of the favorites for the group. Uh, still not, uh, currently not in the best position for that. Flomi is seventh with 452 in last and uh, unsurprisingly last place. As for um, points in our center court, we have Hush leading the points jersey, five points ahead of Mendes, six points ahead of Ibra, eight points ahead of Guilherme. As for the climbers jersey, we have uh, Gamex is still holding on to that lead, eight points ahead of uh, Jakob Papa Maika. Ibra is uh, so 50 for them, 42 for Maika, uh, 35 for Ibra's Polank, and uh, fourth place is for Mendes, 29, fifth for Gusti, 19. The standings after stage three say that Ibra is still leading with 50 points, Jakob second, 35, Hurst uh, third, 32 points, Gusti fourth, 20 points, Gam fifth. 17 points, uh, Mendez 6, 15 points, Blomi and Namad in 7th with 0 points. This, of course, before we factor in GC, KOM, and sprint classifications. This is the uh, the GC that we currently have uh, with uh, stages only, obviously. With that in mind, let me see how we are here in uh, A. 4.5 to go off the top, and uh, I don't know who the yellow group here is. But he was just reeled in, and there was an attack going. By Goot, I believe.
I need to check. Just give me a second. I think I passed by it. So we go. I'll just end this here. Not move it again. So group A is Leo, Huli, Steen, Banyong, Ruth, the Pot, and T2. Okay. So. I see T2 here. Uh, Leo is there. Zapata's there. Banyong's there. I think. Uh. Someone is not there. I just don't know who. And, uh. T2 now going with, uh, I believe it was Leo Falandri. They cross the final climb in first place. There's a horde of French going to the downhill right now. <laughs> and it's Groot uh, dropped behind, I believe. And now T2 and Hulikos. It's Hulikos that has caught up to, to them. I believe it was Leo Falandri and... Um, the Pata. I think. He's still trying to get gaps here. T2 still, still trying to go with Bale, but he's not going to get them right now. A little bit of flat section coming here. See, there we go, but no movement. Yes, he does, and tries to move again. I already have 24 uh, seconds on the other guys. And now I believe it's Zapata trying to go and T2 yet again says I need to get a gap. He's not getting it. Uh, they are still keeping uh, those 20 something seconds to the two riders behind. Trying to see we have Zapata, we have uh, T2, we have. Um, Really cool. And I believe it's Leo Falangi here in the front group. In the meantime, uh, 2.3 to go. Let's see. The sprint is about to be launched. The guys behind are not going to catch up. 1.3, the sprint is launched. Oh, and the sun is a little bit blocking because I see the pot there. And it's going to be for, for, for Leo. No, it's going to be for Zapata, actually. And uh, Roman Bade was only fourth. And Gutmeister was sixth. It means Ben Young was sixth. Okay. We go to uh, Group C. And in Group C, we already have uh, a stage underway. Uh, albeit, not much happened yet. The break seems to or was trying to establish where it didn't happen and we are less than 30 kilometers away at first intermediate sprint the rider is looking to give the pack the slip. Oh, excuse me, I'm just checking here all the notifications I currently have to deal with right now there we go uh, at least saw me and uh, Ibra actually, I was going to say, it might be the first to try a break, but Ibra already positioning himself as well. No one does anything yet. A little bit of uphill. Turning back to flat, false flat. And uh, 42 men still together in the peloton. We already have some train uh, well positioned. Let's see who strikes first. It's going to be Flomi with Cosmofoy. Acceleration by Turgis. No response at the moment. Uh, can you see the profile of the, all of those climbs in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, might be an interesting day for Jakob to defend his jersey with, with what is still to come. A reminder that last uh, last stage, the third stage of the school was a Banyong stage, so we'll do our uh, assessment of it afterwards. But anyway, I did do uh, that reminder and I am now executing it. Uh, 
another break attempt, I think. Uh, with the exception of Jakob, maybe. Everyone is there. And Jakob, uh, let's see if he paces, if he starts controlling this, as expected as a leader now. Or if he tries to join as well. I believe that. I was actually expecting him to join, but no movement yet. Is this a five man train? No, it isn't. Uh, nope. Four, maybe. What a fucking mess. Okay, three wheels. This is one, this is one. You know, now there. What a fucking mess. Uh, here is an attack from, um, oh, actually, he, he then just, uh, arrived next to Hashi, but, uh, Eber arrives with three riders as, as well, so, uh, a, a fight from the brake riders for the intermediate sprint is, uh, starting, and, uh, Jakob's still con controlling, not really interested in joining this festivity right now, and we have 17 riders here, Moving like fright trains into the intermediate sprint, even on the left side, Huff in the middle, the guy behind him, and uh, Mendez on the right side. Kosti now trying to come from the middle, see if he can get the space. Sonny is not in the best position, Ibra is already launching, so is Hush, and Graham takes his wheel with Graham, and Hush is going to launch, and Graham is going to try and pass. He might have it here, but no, it's going to be for Hush, and Graham, and Mendez in turn. Almost stolen by. Guilherme, but Hush was on point with his sprint. Clever move from Guilherme, trying to steal it by putting his puncher in uh, Hush's wheel. It did not work out. This might seal uh, the green jersey for uh, Hush. For 15 points right now, and has 30. Seems to be in a good position to steal the green jersey, I believe. If he has won it, we will see later about the confirmation. Attacked by Turgis. In the meantime, Turgi for Slomi is attacking somewhere up the road again. I see him actually at the top of the screen with the rider. Hush offering to give his CDB to Clem afterwards. Clem saying it was doesn't matter. Was just asking. I don't know what he was asking. Uh, everyone's together into the Paso Costa Lunga, which is about to uh, start. There we go. Underway. And the ghost here is actually the one getting the. Uh, first cap of the time, albeit a short one. Let's see if it is closed or if someone decides to join. We're there, Frank's going. There we go. Uh, blow me. Yaku. Yeah, no Mendez yet. No slow me. Hush coming now on the right side. Frank's going as well. And the man is going as well, so we might have a break established here. As Ghosty accelerates again into the climbing, trying to avoid the break to be fully closed. As, uh, yeah, there's a lot of poor movement here, and uh, everyone is back together again except for Ghosty. Push at the back of the Peloton, uh, even further back than the actual yellow to the Jakob, and the uh, Jakob is going. It's time taking the initiative to try yet another attack, and uh, let's see who responds. Right now, Camilo Craddock leading two other guys. 17.9 to go into the climb, still early days, 11 seconds only, and uh, behind the middle, supposed to be in there. Peloton, Peloton. Come here. 
Alright, we're going to peck response, I believe. Really messy right now. Let's see who responds. This is a good move from uh, Jakub, which would avoid him having to work in the peloton. And when others, uh, if others catch up to him, uh, which can happen already during this climb if they respond, he would pretty much be in a position where he doesn't need to work in any group. As the yellow jersey that he is. 56 seconds, he's actually going, and uh, Hush seems to be the one ready to respond. Let's see. And he goes. Unsurprisingly, as uh, Jakub already lost his time trial, uh, time trialist, sorry. And uh, Ghosty wants to join him. Everyone else is going to catch up, though. And uh, Jakub still has around 50 seconds, with 12 kilometers to go into the first climb of the day. The first of uh, four or uh, five if you count the uh, final one, of course. Now Mendes is at 75th man, and later David Pelaku, Gil Ball is 78, and uh, Luis Leon Sanchez uh, trying to catch up to uh, Jakub. And Guillermo already sending two riders, now it's time for Slomi to respond, he believes, and I think Ghosty was trying to go as well there. Nine point one to go. Everyone's still trying to get uh, people to join the the, the break where Jakub is already uh, at the front of. And we have uh, Mendes joining, Guillermo joining, and uh, pretty much that's it. Fifty five seconds. Jakub trying to pull him up the the climb around one minute. Mostly focus all it out. Uh, Saw it out mainly and uh, D and uh, says Hush and says one. Guillermo saying, Come on, for fuck's sake. Mendes Dale Hole, Tienes Tres, is asking for Mendes to, uh, to do something because he has two riders. They want him to realize. This is not happening right now. It's Jakob still taking the place at the front of the break. And Mendez has no intentions of doing anything of that sort right now that involves working, uh, at least for the time being, as Ghosty is arriving, Slomi is arriving. Ibra launches the three or four men I didn't exactly see, and it's still Jakob reeling at the front of the break, putting the effort, taking the group, 23 seconds, and everyone else joins in, I believe. There we go, I believe Ibra has four guys there. Let's see, uh, Ghosty 4 as well, but everyone's just gonna get back together. Because Ghosty already has his 4 men placed on Lexi if he attacks. He has no reason to, because I think he has 2nd place, so... But you see, that's not a bad place to be in. But he's just demolishing everything on his wake, with that strong place at the front. One point two to go. He's going to attack those points, and he does indeed. The Brenner. One point oh point five. He's sprinting for them. He's going to take them. Jakob second, trying to protect his second place in the KOM, and I have to repeat it to as well. And uh, Harsh got a gap there, uh, but he's about to re-enter. Uh, I see Almeida there lost to Wanda. But everyone re-entering in this uh, flat before the downhill begins. So, no drama is unfolding. Uh, actually, I was gonna... Yeah, after the first one, we realized there's another one about to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, we really need to move to check the other groups so the drama isn't happening here yet. Let's see how they approach this... Um, it's so next risk at. So sure we have 19.8 to go until I get across. Uh, Peloton's back together for the rider. Trying to see how many are still left to reach. 4 for Yaku. Mm -hmm. 
Y bueno, Forgotten. Y la arma dice Four, Three, no, Four, había Four. And I'm almost falling asleep at this point, but we are about to enter uh, Paso de San Pellegrino. And uh, speaking of the devil, it is Guillermo that attacks, and I believe slowly as always, is going to be one of the first responders. As if he was 911, but he did not. Surprisingly, for once, yet. Let's see what happens here. Ghosty taking Branner and uh, Shockman, and now finally responding to the attack of the Portuguese. There goes Ghosty. Yeah, I'm already going into San Pe Pellegrino, though, with 28 seconds advantage on the German, who by himself has 25 seconds on the Peloton. Because he is trying to catch up to the, to the Portuguese 24 seconds. Someone is, uh, I think, moving behind him. Uh, it is, yeah, he's manipulating, but Mendez actually moves with uh, Sanchez and Bilbao. And uh, Gleb still has a small advantage on uh, Ghosty. Now around 20 seconds. 17. And he keeps uh, pacing. 15 seconds. Ghosty's still trying to get to him.
As we are back, I do uh, uh, apologize. There were technical issues launching the sound, uh, but I think it is resolved. I'm getting confirmation that uh, that is correct. And is telling me that it seems to be fine now. I don't know what he did, but the sound seems to be back on stream. And uh, there was a couple of minutes before I actually re realized it as well as I was talking to myself. Uh, we are back here at the center court with uh, 10 riders uh, in the front of the race. I see four for slow me. See Guillermo, Mendez, Yaku with Malaki, and Ghosty. Uh, actually, Bahade is in there, so there's an attack going on, and I will. Really, Emma? Yeah, that's what you feel the need to say right now? <laughs> okay. Um, I prefer not to speak right now, especially because I can't. Uh, so let's go back into the race. Uh, Hush with Godon and uh, someone else. Uh, Emma, can you go to E1? It is about the attack. I'm not drunk, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so slow me with 314 trying to reproduce uh, the Jakob moment in the last stage this time for him let's see if he can do it in the meantime let's uh, check groups A and uh, B we we'll start for um, group A Emea, as soon as you can and uh, here I am in group A um, As you can see, we have, uh, oh, by, by the way, uh, welcome. Uh, hi to everyone on the chat and welcome. Uh, welcome specifically to Soroyal, Didamore, uh, Hillings, and uh, Ilya. It's a very crazy situation in Group Joe and Agap says Ilya. Hillings says, well, Group Joe will be a fun chat. Uh, hello, chat says Ilya. Hi, Ilya. Uh, Donald Hilfen says, always fun, says DDA. Soroyal says, Colby crash and doesn't pause. Uh, yeah, indeed, a lot of stuff going on as we check right now. Uh, Romain Bardet, 42, trying to hold on to the group uh, at the top of the first climb. Let's quickly check Group BMA as soon as we can. Uh, that would be Idrian Dissimo for Abel's group. Uh, where we already have Mark Hershey, naturally. Uh, I had a quick glimpse of him. There we go, we have picture, and uh, here we go, Mark Hershey in the uh, front group, chasing uh, E4, 3, 2, and 1. So Pedersen is going back to help his leader, I would assume. Uh, I think this is the Aquarius group. So Aquarius is in the yellow jersey. I see groups there as well. Situation seems to be at a very high, because it's, it is one of the final times of the day in the HC. And uh, Hershey is about to catch up with Pedersen. There we go. There's a couple more riders at the front of the race. So two at, at the front and uh, someone all uh, alone ahead of these five. One kilometer to the summit of Paso Jao. Il Granissimo Fravo is here with two riders. And uh, let's just look at the uh, top of the climb before we move back into our center courts and the Aquarius uh, rolls down the actual finish line and Frabo had to uh, slow down a bit to try and get Pedersen with him that he will need. All right we are back to center court. Uh, let's see what the shenanigans are currently at the center court. But chat, please tell us what do you think and who do you think will inherit the seat as well. As we still have Roma Bardet, uh, Bargi, and someone else I cannot see who it is from Slowmi still uh, trying to increase the gap. It is already uh, four minutes, give or take. MF, you could uh, mark time to Bardet and the other leaders because there's going to be division sooner or later, and we want to keep that on check. So, uh, 
as our chat uh, discussed a little bit about the uh, Joe group, uh, what they are talking about is that there was a uh, crash, so obviously there will be a lot and lots of discussions about that. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, things to be looked at at the end of the race. Uh, things that can happen, and we'll talk about them later on. Uh, right now, Hush seems to be responding here in uh, center court with his team. And why are we watching dead riders, Emea? Why are we watching dead riders? Seriously, Emea, what are you doing? Ilya says, in my opinion, this is a disqualification, Boston Nigos. I cannot comment on, on that, by the way. I'm just reading what is said. I'm not going to comment on the opinions of... I'm not going to give my own opinions on the subject for obvious reasons that, as the president of the jury, I cannot. So, just reading what is being said here. MAS says, we are aware of it. We will examine it after race according to the rules if there will be vi violations. So, I didn't want to go that deep into it before the stage ended, but uh, it is my understanding that people are concerned something uh, irregular might have happened in that group. And I, as I said, I cannot comment. So, uh, but as uh, Emea said, everything will be examined post-race. Right now, Roman Bardé is now uh, on a solo mode with 235 into the next group and 351 into the other leaders and about to cross uh, that second to last KOM of Paso Jao. And he does it. Yeah, he'll, yeah, just because of that, I obviously cannot, as a, even a non-voting member, as the president of the jury, I can obviously... Uh, so yeah, thanks for understanding. It's part of the job. Uh, as we move uh, back into the Chasers G329 now, Jakob protecting his uh, KOM uh, second place. And he got second, and uh, Bilbao from Mendes got third, I believe. And nine riders are left. Round and round we go. Everyone desperately trying to catch up to slow me. Not as desperately as it could have been because, uh, quick check on Bade, please. He's 452 down, so this isn't silly enough for him to, for example, overtake our leader, GC leader. So, uh, Yakov is the one that doesn't really need to worry with this attack currently. I would say everyone else, uh, probably should be more worried. Yakov has a good gap. And uh, currently watching, um, so many things right now, sorry guys, it's a bit distracting when I'm trying to do the work. Alright, there we go. Uh, 4.11, uh, during this downhill, slow me and Bardi actually managed to get a few more seconds. Uh, now it's uh, Pino from Harsh at the front of the group, but Mendes attacks with Lana Bilbao, Mendes attacks, and Pino was immediately trying to respond. He manages to take his wheel and there are going to be three here two mendez riders one hush rider uh behind the mails let's see who's responding if someone's responding it's uh Jakob immediately like a night hawk trying to uh trying to catch them and ghosty actually takes the, the pursuit yet again ghosty second place of gc is one of the least interested in letting anyone else go so, 13 seconds, there's still 4 minutes for Roman Bardet as he enters Paso Trecalocci, and uh, there's only 22 kilometers, give or take, uh, 20 ki kilometers right now to the end of the stage. Slomi still has to close them, most of them climbing, he only has 350, and the pace here is increasing as Mikael Landa still tries to force the pace with Pino on his wheel. There are il 11 of them. Let's see if someone attacks. Glem moving to the front with Almeida. Let's see if he actually strikes. He's catching up to Mendes right now. Gosti coming from the right side. Iber is a little bit pinned there in the back. Oh, all only 324 now having to slow down. He's without a helper. Everyone's trying to pounce back. 322, but no one is attacking. It's now Mendes at the front of the group with Hush. And the Gosti coming from the right side. Omabade is still going on his individual time trial, so to speak, with still 19 kilometers to go. There he goes. 8.6% percent to for Omabade right now, asking for water. 328. Situation here is crucial right now. Let's see if there is a response. 
Yakov now coming to the center. Let us see if someone faces. Sorry, I'm getting some indications here. All right, we are waiting for the KOM 3.2 to go. 2.2 for Bahabe. Obviously, that is one kilometer give or take ahead the road. And now half uh, on the left side with Pino, well positioned at the front. Lomi still has 325 there. Almeida Lem with three men should continue to put the pace or attack at the very least. He's still putting the pace there. Let's see what he does. The Portuguese, uh, known for not being too scared of attacks when needed. Let's see what he does here. As the KOM is about to be uh, crossed by Roma Bardet, uh, just waiting to see who crosses it in the back, Emea, in the back, Emea, in the back, Emea. Thank you. Uh, Guilherme still has to defend his KOM jersey, so let's see. He's going to take it with Almeida, and uh, we move back to Frabble's group. Frabble's group is group B. Let's see what's happening there. 1.4 to go. You can see what Frabble is in the third position of the race right now. There's two people ahead of him, and uh, Alder and uh, Shadow, actually. And Frabo has Yubi, I believe it is, on his wheel. I think it was Yubi, not sure. As Alder and Shadow go. Ooh, Shadow not in a good position. It's Alder taking the win. Alder is going to take the stage win. Shadow Dice still takes second, but the Ulanissimo Frabo is going to take third, and the fourth place is going to be for Yubi, with the fifth being for Komambari. So Aquarius is going to be in a bad predicament here in 6th place and Nico 7th and in the mud. I don't know how much time Aquarius uh, lost to these guys, I mean uh, how far behind Aquarius these guys were, but there seems to be uh, hell going for Aquarius in that last stage. You'll see how that ended now as we move to the center court where um, I see already Bardet uh, sorry, Buchmann and Almeida on the pursuit of Bardet. Pogacar is there. We're down to leaders now. And uh, with 6.3 to go. Uh, let's see. 130. Uh, Dream of GC seems to be over for uh, Slomi. Let's see if he can still get the stage. It's not looking uh, impossible, but it's not also sealed. So let's see. It's going to depend on the movements here. With 4.4 to go, uh, the gap is actually getting stable, and this could be uh, an attack. It actually is from uh, Rafael Micah. Let's see if he wants to actually catch the French and take the stage. Let's see if he is actually able to do it. He's followed by Landa. Landa on his wheel, Pino on the left side, and then behind Almeida, Bochman, and Pogacar. 1 9 for the French. He's going three kilometers to go for him. But Jakob is in pursuit. 59 seconds. Landa right behind the Polish. But it's very, very steep. We're out of pace sections right now. But Jakob is still trying to launch himself into the stage. And uh, Slomi only has 50 seconds now. Let's see if he can do it. 1.9 to go. He's getting closer. 48. 43. 1.7 to go. 43. 45. He's getting into the final kilometer and a half, 33, it's falling, 28, it's falling, Mike is there, it's falling, 1.3, oh, oh, this is terrible for Slomi, this is terrible for Slomi, can they catch up now, they will, immediately, bounce back, by Jakub, Jakub on the left, that movement from Slomi into the left, but Jakub says that he's going to try and take the stage, followed by Mendes, followed by Gidem. Gidem goes into the right side, the sprint for the stage is on, and Jakub accelerates, Jakub accelerates, Jakub accelerates, Jakub takes the stage, Jakub takes the GC, Jakub is in the semi-finals, followed by Gidem second, and uh, Mendes third on the stage, the fourth is Ibra, the fifth is Slomi, Kosia sixth, and Hush is an Amadan seventh. We're waiting for the gaps to see what changes here. Right now, uh, Jakob was already first place. He will uh, in the GC. He will take that as well for sure. Guilherme uh, might have... Uh, well, he did improve his GC here for sure. Let's just see how much. And the Ghosty, who was second, ended in sixth. So we need to see the gaps to be sure, guys. We need to see the gaps. Some interesting things happening here at the end of this uh, stage.
very powerful uh, per performance there from Yaku with Rafa Maita uh, commanding the attack there at the end, catching Slomi, pushing uh, as fast as he could, not taking crap from anyone, crossing the finish line, nothing that the Portuguese could do behind him, the stage was his, the GC was his, and let's see where uh, this ends for uh, everyone in the group. Group A, I'm being told Group A is in decisive moments. We're checking. Yes, it is. We are in the uh, HC, passing the HC now. And uh, there's someone ahead to the second, I'm not sure who it is. I see Wooly Coles and Groot are uh, a bit dropped behind the others, they're catching now. City 2, Ben Young. I don't know who the lead rider is, but he only has 30 something seconds, so I guess we'll find out soon. Uh, let me just quickly check something. Uh, Joe Eitley's Group D is already on the move yet again. Uh, so we'll stay in A for now. Because it's all also not that close, not that far from the end, sorry. Uh, I just need to adjust my windows, guys. Just give me, give me a second. Okay, there we go. So right now I can see uh, chat as well. I can see the annoying game uh, if needed. There we go. And uh, 52 seconds. But there's an attack there. There's an attack there from uh, Paré Pantre, I think Leo, if I recall correctly, uh, was in that jersey. Quickly recheck. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, Leo, yes. 41 seconds, we're getting into the, uh, almost into the final part of climbing of the stage road, 24 to go. I will remind to everyone, Group A is Leo Falandri, Huli Kuls, Stin, Ben Young, Group Meister, Zapata, and T2, which is also our streamer, as you can see. Currently 11 euros here on IMA, thank you everyone for watching, I know some of you were playing, so obviously not as big of a crowd as usual, and that uh, we have Yet another pouncing attack right there from Leo for, for Laundry. Accelerating, he's going to catch uh, Stein. Of course, it was Stein that was up, up the road and is about to be caught. Uh, here it is. Uh, ben Young lost the rider there. Really messy, but T2 manages to uh, pass and is next to them. Seven riders. Stein still ahead, but 5.3 to go. The gap is almost close. 17 seconds. Zapata is now moving ahead himself, trying to catch the NCL uh, player. Let's see if the Belgian can survive this KOM, but it's going to be really hard. 28 seconds. T2 still with the helper. Leo Falandri as well. Uh, ben Young, I believe, too. And the others, I think, are alone at this point. 36 seconds, uh, Stein continues his uh, attempt, uh, might be uh, a useless one right now, but he has committed to it, he has to keep trying, he has 38 seconds, and now it is T2 passing to the front of the chasing group, the leader's group, and he's advancing, he's attacking, he's moving, he's moving, and there he goes, Romain Barade, Romain Barade on, on the move, and he catches uh, to the Belgian rider, immediately followed by Zapata, I see Leo, and um, there goes the Ganty too. Not giving a rest to anyone, no rest for the Wicked. Stein is still alive somewhere, somehow, but he might not make it with the group until the end of the stage. As T2 continues to go, the hardest part is still to come, 1.1 until this KOM, and everyone is now moving. T2 is now at the front of the race. Uh, the Belgian rider can't keep up with him, obviously. He's been at the front for a very long time as Roland Lade takes the KOM.
Okay, uh, I was just informed that we do have a final classification for uh, our center court group C. So guys, bear with me really quickly. It is Yakub, uh, obviously as expected, leader of the group, 240 points. Then we rise to second with 187. Ivra surprises everyone and passes in third with 100 points. Hurt is fourth, 97. Ghost is fifth, 95. Mendez is sixth, 87. Slummy and Number then seventh with 32. Stocking uh, moments here in Group C as Ibra surprising everyone. Yet again, a great de demonstration from the PCM UK player. Then that was, uh, I don't think he was at the uh, more than fifth or sixth place in GC into the last stage and still managed to save it. Uh, not only with the second place in GC that he managed to salvage in the final stage, he also won the KOM jersey, so the Portuguese is again in a semi-final, and this is the first one in road for him this year. So uh, let's see how he goes in the remaining ones. Uh, after move, Group A, we will move into Group D. Omama Ade continues at the attack. 152. He's uh, five seconds down only on GC, but he's making a move for it. He has 4.9 to go, and he seems to have the, the GC end of stage here as it is getting late for response. But let's see, 4.1. Omama Ade doing a solo, a fantastic solo by Let's see if he saved enough energy. 2.24. Three point five to go. Entering the hardest parts now with Roman Bardet. Well, right against some against someone who is at two minutes, but not who is at twelve seconds. As uh, I completely understand his uh, his com complaint there, uh, because uh, a guy at twelve seconds was uh, not closed by anyone, and uh, yet the guy that was uh, at two minutes was. That's weird PCM that we can see sometimes. And now Bade 2.1 to go. The gap is coming down. Let's see if we'll be quick enough. 1.9 because it's a very steep part. So let's see. Leo Falandri now moving 146. Ben Young on his wheel. Holland Bade taking his pace. 144, 142, 1.54 to go. Unless he tremendously dies. Oh! Which I think he did, but I'm not sure. It was so quick and he moved to Pinot, so I'm gonna guess he did. Oh, c'est terrible for the French right now, as Pinot is about to catch him, but he's still going to, he's going to get the stage. He's definitely going to gain time, probably going to win GC, but that could have been far, far worse for T2, as the Leo for, for Landry. Is the second and Minion going to surprise on third? And the fourth is going to be four. Oh, uh, third is good, sorry. And the fourth is, um, I don't remember who the other French is. Apologies. And then comes Zapata. Benyong was only uh, fifth. He too is getting a, uh, a sigh of relief there as he almost uh, squandered it, but he still had enough of a, a gap to make it work. Go back to group D. The group of the day, it will seem due to circumstances. Let's see how things are here. 100 kilometers to go, of course. 100 kilometers to the end, and uh, six men on the break. I'm going to ask, uh, let's see, take a quick look at the. Um, Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, so Emma, as soon as you can, uh, start asking people to move uh, to the interviews channel. We will join them uh, in a little bit because it's going to take a while and we might as well start with the interviews as well. In the meantime, uh, I see Basso here, Joe Whiteley. Yes, we will move to interviews right about now.
I was already doing it, but thank you, Emil. So we are uh, back live again. Not that we ever left. We just had to move to a different room. And we are waiting for people to come and join the in interviews for those that played, obviously. And uh, meanwhile, we're still looking at uh, Group D that had a crash. So we're having to follow the second uh, version, V2 of this stage, obviously, after the crash. And um, I see three men from Joe Whiteley up the road. I'm trying to understand where is everyone here based on what I'm seeing. Agap is there. Ilya, uh, not Ilya, sorry. Um, Agap here. I'm trying to see who the other French is. Now Basso moving. Who is pinging me? Yes, everyone. That's exactly the, the ping I need. We have T2 here, and uh, I'm going to invite him in. There we Hello. go. Uh, 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 Hello, T2. That was a um, uh, welcome, by the, by the way. T2? Yeah. Okay, uh, welcome. And uh, that was quite the nervous moment for you at the end. Uh, it seemed that uh, Leo Falandri was close to catching you, but you managed to seal the deal uh, with Roman Barbe at the final stage. Yeah, um, uh, it was a ballsy attack, but uh, was the only thing that I could do, uh, considering that I messed up all the previous stages and I was bad at uh, every classification. And um, I noticed that uh, Leo uh, played really well with his helper. So... Um, he was going to be with uh, two riders, and uh, so uh, the other will look at him to to pace. But he knew that uh, he he would be qualified by being second and was easier with his helper. So nobody paced, and um, yeah, it was a lucky moment for me because without that, uh, I'm out clearly. Yeah, you were you were at that point, if I recall correctly, a fourth in the GC, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. So that was actually a great uh, attack, a, a big risk, but it, but it ended up being a risk that paid off. As I can see now, uh, you're at the classification of your group because you ended up winning it. Not only winning the GC, but the actual group. Yeah. Leo was second, and Holy Cold was third. So the three French in the group pass. Uh, I would say uh, that given uh, what you already said, it was definitely not an easy night for you, but uh, are you happy with that outcome? Yeah, of course, of course. I'm happy because... Uh... Um, I, I won and I won like um, with a great stage. Uh, what it was do you a nice think? Attack and I'm proud. No, yeah, sorry, you were saying something. What? Sorry, I missed something you were uh, saying. I uh, was going to also ask you, uh, what do you think you can do in this in in these semifinals? I know winning is always the goal. Do you feel uh, confident going into the semifinals? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I look at my game for tonight, uh, was clearly not the best of the group, and uh, uh, oh, I'm he still not, managed to fix uh, it. Not so. at the place in the semi-final. I think it's not my. I'm not good in tour. Uh, was this performance better than you what you expected then? Yeah, in the semi-finals. Um, I was hoping to um, to be better uh, in the previous stages, but uh, I messed it up. And uh, uh, what? I'm, I'm, what exactly happened? Because we didn't have the chance to see everything that happened. Uh, so what happened there? Well, seeing especially, I was just like not uh, the first places. I was always in the the good group, but uh, never winning or close to winning. So yeah, and I was very dropped at the classifications. Uh, do you still uh, have uh, inline and uh, classics as well? I have in line. I don't have classics because uh, I was uh, not here in the round two. Oh, I was here and I'm already not there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can share uh, the same feeling with you. I wasn't the there, just did not pass. But uh, you still have in line. You have now have the semifinals. Uh, I hope everything goes uh, successfully for you. Best of luck, man. And uh, thank you so much Thanks. for being here. And again, congratulations Thanks. on your win. Thanks. All right, that was T2, uh, winner of uh, Group A. I also have Jakob here, who I will add, or if Emma is looking at it. Yeah, thank you.
And uh, let's see who else. Oh, Ibra. Ibra is also here. Invite Ibra. Invite Jakob as well. There we go. Jakob, Ibra. So, guys. Okay, Jakob. Welcome. Good evening, man. Uh, that was uh, that was quite the roller coaster in uh, group, group C, Jakob. At some point, uh, you were not in GC. Uh, out of nowhere, you did this fantastic uh, attack where you take it all, and in the end, you managed to uh, catch yet another similar attack that uh, Slomi was uh, doing to take yet another stage that seemed like a dominant performance, man. Uh, can you talk us through it? Yeah, first stage was not great for me. I got dr randomly dropped a few times, and so it's a miracle I didn't do too much time. I, uh, I finished at the same time as Ibra and lose like a few seconds, so... Uh, most of the guys only uh, more to ghosty than surprisingly in the TT. I <laughs> zero bug, one hundred percent skill. I finished uh, best of the climbers. I have no idea how, uh, considering there was Hush and Ghosty in my group, but that was uh, was promising. And I was third, third in GC and coming into stage three. And yeah, I knew uh, I, at some point I will have to play uh, a bit differently than usually. Then people will be uh, will be surprised. And yeah, they. Underestimated me, maybe a bit, uh, or just uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't really come mm, uh, to a, a compromise about about pacing. After I got uh, like twenty, thirty seconds, I knew they will not catch me, uh, but I just didn't know how much, how much of an advantage I will have. It was, was six I, minutes. I, I, at some point. I was actually going to uh, ask you that at what point of that attack did you feel okay? I think I have this. When I when I saw they didn't respond, and I got a minute immediately. I I knew I'm gonna do it. I knew I will recover fully on the downhill, and they're going ten. And yeah, there was basically no chance they get this minute back unless they moved like immediately to my wheel. So you're in the semifinals. Uh, I don't know how you still if you're still in in line and uh, classics. Are you in line? Yes, classics. Absolutely not. <laughs> I finished last in my group. So you still have the semi-final, though. What are the expectations here? I mean, obviously we get there, we, we want to pass. Do you think you have a good shot to be in the final? Uh, yeah, and, and to our depends on the group. I can get a really hard group with Lef Landry, Joe, Bass, and, and then it will be very hard to pass. My uh, Rafi group in inline is very hard as well. That's why I'm uh, very, very uh, satisfied I did this here in tour. So even if I don't go through inline, I have Pass on Miro and some other uh, very good players in my group in inline. Then at least it's my first ever semi final in the World Cup, uh, excluding like TT or track or uh, uh, whatever. So yeah, I'm very, very happy I uh, I managed to do it. So I managed to do it from the first place after a decent decent gameplay. Yeah, pretty good. Right, man. Congratulations on that. I hope everything goes well for you. I mean, what's still left of your World Championships? Uh, best of luck for that. And thank you so so much for being here. Yet again, congratulations on an amazing performance, Jacob. Thank you. And uh, before we listen to uh, the former uh, interviewee, which is going to be Ibra, a quick look at Group B, where you be yet again uh, with another great performance, winning 220 points. Second place is Alder, bouncing back from uh, other uh, events that didn't go as well. Second place with 204 is the Colombian Alder, and then third, Shadow, 129. Fourth, Aquarius, 100. Fifth, Daniel Miko, 80 points. Sixth, uh, Ilgrandissimo Fabo, 55 points. And seventh, and last but not least, Pierre, with 47 points. Uh, Ibra. Yo, hello. hello. Hello, hello, my friend. Hello. Uh, really happy for you. Uh, I had no idea uh, you were uh, passing at the point of um, the uh, center court was ending because there was quite the mess to sort out uh, in that GC. But you did do some good uh, good results from what I see here. A stage win, a second place, a third place, um, a fourth place in stage four. Uh, so... And you get 40 points from the GC. So you actually passed really narrowly. But uh, I guess the work you uh, had to try and uh, get good results in stages paid off. Yeah, well, uh, we are too that we didn't expect this. Because when the race finished, I thought that I'm going to finish fifth in the 
classification. I uh, didn't really count points after the first, second, and I didn't look at Discord. I ju I'm just playing. The goal was to do good in GC. Actually, it wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't really focused on much on points. But I really was playing KOM with uh, the 78 Mountain. He ended up being in uh, out of the points, so I was. I thought I was out. Uh, for the GC, it was a weird, I would say it was a weird lobby because congrats to Jacob, it was a good attack, but the, the, um, this group uh, was weird. They gave two free passes to two people uh, to the semifinals, actually. They gave the first one to Jacob when he was like fourth in the GC and he, uh, like he lost guys, he attacked, no one followed, and they also did to slow me but slow me got uh, we got him at the last kilometer of the last stage but he was gonna do the same so it was a weird lobby where everyone was uh trying to hide behind the others but yeah scoring in the first stage and second stage i mean that's what saved me it, i guess it was a really it was a really marginal difference uh i will uh, take a little look at it you had three more points. You had 100 points. Hirsch had 97. He was behind you in GC, uh, but he also uh, was uh, winning the KOM, I believe. And Ghost, yeah. he had 95, so only five points behind you in fifth place. And he was third of uh, GC. So this was actually very, very close. Yeah, I'm, I'm honest when I say that if any of them, uh, if any other guy passed of them, I wouldn't be mad. I was okay with being fourth or fifth because. Uh, in this kind of lobby of how they played because it was really weird how they played but I, I was satisfied with what I did so I was a reserve I showed up I did what I had to do I played a lot better than the last round where I got eliminated and I was satisfied of uh, what's gonna happen and Ibra, I at the end this is a story we've all lived even I have at this point in the world championships from reserve to the next round but this time the next round isn't just the next round it's the semi-finals what do you think you you can do in the semi-finals of tour first of all congratulations for getting there and uh, what do you think you, you can do there uh, I'm gonna be honest when I I'm gonna see the draw it's probably gonna be the hardest lobby I've ever played in uh, we're talking about semi-finals of World Cup so I'm already happy to be there because I was really disappointed of how solos ended for me, especially in inline. My goal was third, at least third round or semifinals in inline, which is my best uh, discipline. And I got eliminated round two. So I would say that this is my uh, revenge uh, over my uh, uh, other performances. Uh, in semifinals, uh, let's say that I don't expect much. I expect that I will do my best and we see where we go from there. Well, I'm like uh, one of the uh, no, dogs, no, 12 people. Yeah, I'm one of yeah. them, like the best players in tour in World Cup. So that's already something. Yeah, that's but, awesome. I mean, you're like yeah. among the final 12. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's something. Exactly. Indeed. Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm going to shout out someone. Uh, yeah, which please. Is uh, which is my teammate Swaxen, who couldn't make it tonight, and he gave me his place as third reserve, and I made it to the semifinals. This is uh, for Swaxen. Also, I have uh, one more thing to say to Tito, who was earlier here today. He told me last week when I got eliminated, he told me, see you in third round. I guess I will see him in semifinals, and yeah, we'll settle this once and for all. All right, thank you so much for being here, Ibra, and uh, hi, Swags. Best of luck, uh, Ibra, for what's left of your World Championship thank specialty you. team, where we will hope to be uh, and continue strong. And thank, thank you, you so much for being here. Go PCM UK. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you, and you can stay if you want. As we are about to finish uh, Group D, we are in the decisive st uh, phase of the race, 500 meters into the final. Kyle Bam and Joe Whiteley is going to pass ahead. ASG is trying to follow him. He's going to be second, and they get third with uh, Zapata, maybe I think oh, Miru. Oh, of course, Miru. Why do I keep calling him Zapata this evening? Miru behind. We have four guys here, and we have Joe Whiteley with 27 seconds gap in going into the. Uh, 
little bit of false flat that we now have until the final climb begins. Oh, Joe, stop riding. I want to see the race, Joe. And uh, 51 seconds, 57. Now, there was a, a brief a moment where everyone was just waiting and uh, finishing recovering, and Joe managed to increase the gap a little bit. I see a gap, I see Miru, I see Basso, I see ASG, and now I don't know who that is. I missed the name. I know it appeared, but I missed it. And whoever that is, that person is it. Is it Colby? I'm not sure, man. I need to check this group quickly. Let me see who it is. This is Group D. It is Papele. Oh, it is Colby. Yes, Papele is also here. So correct. My eyes were not deceiving me. Joe Whiteley already has one sixteen. He is on the move. He's followed by, I believe, Colby. Oh, Joe Whiteley's already have over two minutes, two and a half. Colby is on the run as well. And now it's Basso pacing at the front of the third group. The remaining leaders group, followed by ASG, Miru, and Agap. Basso does a final effort. Let's see if he can make a gap. He doesn't. He sits, and I'd say ASG passing ahead, followed by Agap, Miru, and Basso staying in the wheel into the final climb, where Joe Whiteley is only with... A little bit over 40 seconds ahead of Colby that goes chasing him. This is a very steep climb here. It's going to be a really steep part. So uh, we saw people with two and three minutes that uh, couldn't uh, actually seal the deal. So it's too soon to tell. Uh, but right now, not looking uh, bad for Joe. But not the uh, biggest gap. So let's see. Oh my god, stop riding Joe Whiteley. Jesus. By 400 meters, Joe Whiteley still has almost two minutes. For fuck's sake, man, stop riding. And uh, seems to be all she wrote for Kobe as he's about to be caught by uh, Basso. And Joe Whiteley keeps motherfucker. Jesus, just stop riding, Joe. Oh, man. Okay, uh, Basso is about to reach Kobe. 1.7 to go. Uh, Joe Whiteley is 200 meters ahead. And Basso is accelerating. Basso is accelerating. This is a, the final kilometer. Joe Whiteley still trying to preserve that lead. It might be enough. ASJ was trying to follow 500 meters. It's going to be enough for Joe Whiteley. Joe Whiteley is going to take the lead. The, the stage. The GC. And the points jersey. Congratulations to Joe Whiteley. Basso crosses the line in second place. And uh, the third is going to be ASG. Uh, Miru is going to be fourth, I believe. With Colby still managing to say fifth place. And Agap is going to be sixth. I don't even know where Papale is. If, or maybe behind Agap, I guess. I have no idea. All right, this was uh, Group D. We're waiting to see how that translates into points. And see if we can hear uh, a couple of the participants here before we close this. I know you were in the best something something, but you also fucked it yourself with Karma says Basso, Miru says Bro, I would have passed without problems says Kobe, shut the fuck up says Miru, and learn to play with Train. What he said, with Train? So I'm um, uh, the more to cry. Say, oh, this is a a lot of love. Oh, without the train, this is Miru did a mistake there. This is a lot of love in this group right now. A lot of love is being spread here between uh, guys like Miru and Basso. Uh, I don't know if they ended up playing with six because I don't see any further friends here. So I, I think we played with six. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Joe Whiteley, by the way. Thank you. I have more viewers than the IMA stream. Am I famous? Uh, I'm gonna go with yes, but the response might also be the fact that you had definitely the most famous group. That's for sure. Yes, well, that 
is something that we should definitely talk about because I don't think I ever experienced something quite like that in the World Championships, quite honest. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations, Joe. I saw that you won uh, Sage, GC, points, uh, pretty much your group, I assume. So, uh, how was that? How was that? Um, nope. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, was it easy? Yeah. Or uh, it doesn't? It, it seemed like it was a rough day at the office after some things that I can't comment, obviously. <laughs> but uh, uh, how was the rest for you? Yeah, I I had my uh, battle plan, as you will, as I always try to make before playing. Stage one, pretty much perfect. Went all to plan. Um, I was a little scared because my eighty-two mountain guy was in the breakaway approach the full stage, but. Yeah, that went to plan. The time trial, I mean, I was, wasn't was lagging a little bit, but obviously not being host and streamer as well. You know, when you're trying to do the bug, the full stage, it's quite hard. But I think I lost to Basso with two seconds, but I had to then get my attention to the climber. So I might have messed up the time trial like the last two or three kilometers, but it is what it is. Um, stage three, yeah, pretty good. Stage four, the less said the better, maybe. Uh, just to inform you that currently the IMA is back to normality with more viewers than you. So, yeah. uh, semi-finals, first ones of um, uh, the, the first major three, the, the, the major three road a, a, a events. Uh, you're not the kind of person I need to ask, oh, what do you think is going to happen? And I mean, I know you're in it to win it. It might not happen, obviously, but... I don't think you have small goals when you reach the semi-final, right? Yeah, like I said, take it event by event, day by day, and uh, well, we can we can see then. Next up, it's the team events tomorrow. That's my main focus, and then Saturday day off. Well, not day off because I work, but day off. Sunday, following line, and then maybe we can talk about what I uh, want to achieve in the semi-finals and finals if I get there. All right. Uh, boring as usual. Yes, always the boring answers, uh, correctly, uh, the politically correct answers from Joe Whiteley. Uh, but uh, another great result for Joe. I still don't know if you have the points already. I just would like to close the stream uh, with also those results. That we already gave yeah, I was like, in the middle of doing points, but obviously... Oh, no, no, no worries. We wait. We wait. We have time. Um, I think I can help calculate them more. If I... yeah. In the meantime, uh, I invite everyone that is uh, watching after the stream is over to join Discord, as I'm sure that there will be quite a lot to be discussed about this tour uh, round three. Yeah, I I think. Especially this group as well, I mean, you won't uh, Yes, I believe that those of you that already know our Discord and the community, which is pretty much everyone watching, I would assume, uh, make sure to stay tuned in there, and um, there's going to be a lot to discuss, obviously. Uh, a quick reminder of our semi-finalists so far, in uh, Jakub, Guilherme, uh, Ivra, T2, Leo Falandri, Hulikuls, Yubi, Alder, and Shadow, uh, Joe Whiteley as well. I'm waiting for the other two to be confirmed, second and third of the group. Uh, but I already told you 10 out of 12. Uh, story of the day, I think, undoubtedly, uh, on the positive side, of course. Ivra coming uh, back from the dead, from reserve to semi-finalist. Congratulations to Ivra. He is on his first major road semi-final. Peace. That was uh, a quality story that we all like to see, especially when it was uh, such an amazing, uh, dramatic uh, ending. Ibra finishing his group tour with 100 points. Three points ahead, Hirsch. Five points ahead, Ghosty. 13 points ahead, Mendez. And Slomi was in the mud with 32. Uh, in, the meantime, in the meanwhile, Jakub won, convincing me with 240 points after a fantastic uh, attack and yet another fantastic third stage. And Guilherme was second with 187 points, also a good recovery from the Portuguese at, at some point, uh, although we always had... Um, I just realized that Mir just uh, placed a uh, sprint jersey for Guilherme and KOM for uh, Hush. It's the opposite way, but same points, so all good. Guilherme always also had the KOM jersey con controlled, and uh, apparently some good points in sprint as well. 
So um, I would say that was a, a, a very good race from the Portuguese that managed to uh, put the ex exclamation mark on it on the final stage when he finally took the second place of GC. Uh, and the second place allowed him to breeze into the semifinals, as we are waiting indeed for uh, final results of Group D. I think I should play drunk more often. Well, not drunk, but, you know. All right. All right. Uh, well, it seems, uh, seems to have worked out well for you. Yeah. So um, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to move this here. We are waiting for the results that will be on your screen soon, ladies and gentlemen. And afterwards, we will directly move into the semifinals draw. So stay tuned. It's not over yet. We still have a draw. We still have uh, the results. Well, I think the draw for Tom and May might have to wait. Actually, so. actually, um, might be a good idea to be honest. Hilling says, I have a feeling that the chat in this race will be salty uh, close to the end of the, of the race. It actually was very salty, yes. Uh, as you could see, if you were seeing uh, in Group D, UB says, I will miss the time trials and echelon in semi final. All right. All right, uh, we have confirmation. We are uh, waiting for the results, and the draw will move as planned and as e expected. And we are waiting for those results. I believe Ben Young is finalizing them. And we have them. Joe Whiteley convincingly wins with... Um... Wait, no, he was fixing it. He was fixing it. And they are joking. What? Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, I said so. May jokingly. Last play results don't count. <laughs> okay, there we have it. Final results of Group D. Joe Wisely convincingly winning with two hundred and ninety points. That was a second place on stage one, a second place on stage two, a second place on stage three, and finally the dub on stage four. GC win. Uh, win in the secondary jerseys, both KOM and Sprint. So two hundred ninety points for Joe Wisely. Boswell comes in second place, 197 points. Miru salvages uh, and uh, his race in advance did 115 points, few more points only than ASG that made 112. Agap is fifth with 55 points. Colby is sixth with 44 points. And Petele I have seen left after uh, stage one, where he only made or or, or two, only only made two points and is seventh of the group. So. Uh, as everyone can see, here are the final results. Those in green advanced into the semi-finals. Congratulations to them, as they are T2, Leo Falandri, Huli Kools, Jakub, Guilherme, Ibra, Yubi, Alder, Shadow, The Whiteley, Basso, and Miru. Um, at this point, uh, let's see if we still have anyone here to talk. Quick Hello. Check. Ah, we do have Basso. Hello, Basso. Welcome. Hello, bro. What's up? Uh, everyone's talking about your group as uh, we speak. Uh, it is yeah. finally over, and you managed to pass with uh, 197 points in second place. So, can you tell us a little bit of what happened in Group D? Well, I mean, stage four had to be restarted, sadly. Well, not sadly for me, but at the same time, it's it's just frustrating to see people accusing me of I don't know what. Crashing the game on purpose or whatever. It's just, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I was it you who wrote that? It's just frustrating because <laughs> I actually had lags and now, ah, uh, fuck, if I'm, if I'm fucking gonna get, if I'm fucking gonna get DQ'd because of this, it's, it's gonna be horrible. I'm just All happy right. I'm through and hopefully it doesn't, I mean, I'm I not going to comment on those uh, types of procedures as uh, present to the jury, obviously, so I'm not going to say uh, what I think, even if I could as a commentator, but for the rest, you seem to have done well, second place, 97 points. What's the goal from uh, from now on into the semifinals? Well, hopefully pass to the finals, but I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> it is fucking frustrating. I'm sorry, right. sorry for the spoilers. I, I, I'm, I'm very emotional right now because... <laughs> <laughs> All 
Well, uh, considering all the what's been said and done, I uh, can't say that Sir surprises me, but uh, as I was saying, we, what we have to focus right now is the final results, and we have them here. From there on, we will see, but as I was saying, seems to have been a solid performance. I see two stage wins, I see a uh, third and a second place, second NGC, uh, 20 points in the sprint, which is second place, and fourth in the KOM. Seems above all like a... Uh, a solid uh, placement. What, uh, what was the, since you said uh, not uh, unfortunately for me, what was the situation in the uh, first take of uh, stage four for you? Where were you placed? Uh, I mean? You mean uh, before the, the restart? Yeah, yeah. You know, I had a train bug where I was basically stopped, I think. Like, wh what was it? 160 k's to go? Yeah, something like that on one of these little uphills, and then Miru pays 99 just to get rid of me. I eventually came back, and I would have survived the climb easily, but uh, in the middle of the first category climb, it started lagging, and then you know what happened. So I All think right. I would have survived and potentially taken like maybe I don't know fourth in GC and probably still passed. But I mean. It was kind of karma for me as well, but whatever. All right, it's not the World Championship if there's not controversial moments, but uh, as we speak, you are right now in the semifinals. Congratulations. I know you still have inline and uh, classics to do. Uh, I'm sure you're optimistic to get in those uh, semifinals as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, inline is on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it's on Sunday. <laughs> I, I don't know why I asked that. Yeah, so inline... We have, I mean, I've looked at the stages and they're not boring, but they're not great either, I think. Like, uh, us as organizers, that's what we always like to hear. Oh, they're not great, but they're not boring either. I mean, that's, I think that's the best thing they can tell us about stages, to be honest. Would you agree, Joe? Yeah, with the best. <laughs> uh, like All right. Uh, Muscle, thank you so much for being here. Best of luck for what's left of your World Championship. We do have to go with the draw now, so thank you so much and congratulations for progressing into the three finals. See ya. Thank you. Uh, Emea, as soon as you're ready, let's rush it. Yeah, are you alive? Okay, let's go. Let's draw stuff. Okay. Emea says... Uh, he is preparing things and needs uh, a little more time. And meanwhile, you can uh, there we go. We, you can see you can still see the results on the stream screen. And uh, we are about to advance into the draw. Let's see how this goes. So, uh, all the names on your stream screen are already inserted into their respective pots. So, Whiteley, Jakub, Yubi, and T2R pot one. Other Basso, Guilherme, and Leo, Pot 2, and Pot 3 is Holy Cole, Shadow, Miru, and Ibra. Two groups, top players, we go. We also have the draw on your screen now, as you can see, I know. We are uh, waiting for the first name to be drawn. There we go. We will begin, it seems. So. There we go. The uh, players are into their pods, and we're going into... Oh, what? Sorry? So pronto. Okay. 
I need a second screen because apparently uh, yeah, I need to see what's happening in draws. There we go. We went into part one and uh, we already have, as you can see, Jakub uh, in uh, group A and Joe Whiteley in group B. This means T2 in A. Pot three is pretty nasty. Which pot four also well, eighth is only finals. I shouldn't be surprised that every pot is hard. It's actually only two pots, by the way. Six. Pots are three. Six pots. No, three pots. Six pots. For tour? Yeah. No. Six pots. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can't grant group constraints or what? We'll need an external streamer. Uh, sure. I may have tripped him. If you say so. So, which means that, uh, we have now... <laughs> Jakub, UB, Basso, Leo Falandri in A, Joe Whiteley, T2, Alder, and Guilherme in group B. Let's see. Waiting for the uh, final pots to be drawn. Well, there's still actually uh, Bill Lee and uh, what else am I forgetting here? Bill Forward, Ah, who they called indeed, and uh, Fredo Muir and Lieber. Yes. So it is fully calls into group A, Shadow is drawn into group B. Now let's see between Miru and Eber who gets the best group. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Eber in group A and Miru in group B. And therefore, this means that the final draw is group A, Jakub, Yubi, Basso, Leo Falandri, Hulikos, and Eber. Group B, Joe Whiteley, T2, Alder, Kidermu, Sado, Miru. Joe, first reaction, since you're already here anyway. Uh, yeah. Both very equal, uh, solid groups. Can't lie. Yeah. I think they're both very good. All right. This concludes the um, tour semi-final draw. And uh, tomorrow we have a team event, uh, which is time trials. Uh, so we'll be back, I think, Sunday for uh, inline. Hold on. I'm uh, having yeah. some Discord issues right now. Yeah, we are back for inline on Sunday. Uh, okay. We won't stream the TTs. So. All right. Yeah, because some channels didn't seem to be loading for me, but I recall it was, I think, Sunday, so it is indeed. And uh, once again, a uh, quick look at the results of the group that we uh, of the groups that we had tonight. I'll tell you that uh, Group A was won by T2 with Leo Falandri second and uh, Holy Coles third. Groot was fourth, so 187 for T2, Leo Falandri 162, Holy Coles 155, Group Meister 150, Zapata 85 and fifth, Steen sixth, 55, and Ben Young seventh, 44. Group B saw Yubi winning 220 points, Alder second, 204, Shadow third, 129, Aquarius fourth, 100, Daniel Miko fifth, 80, Ivan Nissimo Fravo sixth, 55 points. Uh, seven and last Pierre, 47 points. Group C, Jakub, 140 points. Vidarm, second, 187. Ibra, third, 100. Hart was fourth, 97. Ghosty, fifth, 95. Mendes, sixth, 87. Slomi, last, uh, seventh and last, 32. In group D, Joe Whiteley gets the best score of the day, 290 points. Uh, Basso, second, 197. We have ASG, uh, sorry, Miru, third, 115. Uh, ASG 4, 112, AF 5th, 55 points, Colby 6th, 44 points, and Pepele last and least, because he probably rich quit or whatever and only has 2 points and is the worst scorer of the day. Pepele in 7th place with 2 points. So, this uh, concludes our results of the evening. It will also conclude our stream, because I've been speaking here for, uh, I don't know, like um, 3 hours at the very least. You can also see uh, the draft, uh, sorry, the draw, 
uh, we did for uh, four semifinals. Group A has Jakob, Yubi, Basel, Leo, Huli, Koza, Libra. Group B has the Whiteley, T2, Alder, Guilherme, Shadow, and Miru. So, we'll be back on Sunday for N-Line. If we do come back for something else, we'll definitely warn you beforehand. Uh, with me uh, was M.A. at the ninth yet, as always. At some point, we had also Joe here. Uh, thank you to everyone that was here. Thank you to those that also came for the interviews. Congratulations on the winners, uh, to all the winners and to all of those that uh, advanced. Condolences to the ones that did not uh, advance. And uh, to all the chicken dinners. <clears throat> And to all what? Sorry, didn't catch that. The ch chicken dinners. Yes, congratulations to all the chicken dinners as well. Uh, but some more chicken dinners will, are still uh, to come in these World Championships. We are getting to the decisive stages. Still a lot to come, and there's also still a lot to come in team. Tomorrow we advance. To PC. Congratulations to Basel PC in the internet. Line. Congratulations to Basel PC, says Emea. And now uh, we are going to close the stream before I actually lose what's left of my voice. Thank you so much for being here. I was uh, live with you since uh, quarter to uh, eight uh, on the correct people's time. And I'll see you all in Sunday for the PCM World Cup 2023 brought to you by Cyanide and Nakon. Have a good night. No.